Preta. My intro music is a key. I have to give uh, myself a little pat in the back for that. Shout out to Ashley Breathe and my friend David for pulling that together. Sorry, I was just over here getting myself pumped up and geared for another Saturday afternoon, evening, Sunday for those of you across the planet, wherever you're at, for the playback crew, for those of you across the pond, in the States, wherever you are, welcome. My name is Maddie Rands and I am giving. You can be all right with that. I wish some would, but furthermore, <laughs> we're going to be talking about RuPaul's Drag Race today. Season 16, episode six, welcome to the dollhouse. Let's take a deep breath. <sighs> Exhale. <sighs> Leave your worries at the door as well as your sensitivity, because I think starting this off early is always a necessity for this channel, since I like to say what I want. But disclaimer, this program is for entertainment purposes only and content is not intended to malign any religion, race, gender, company, individual, or wigs. All opinions expressed by Maddie Rands and program participants are still of their personal views and do not reflect the opinions of every human being on the planet. No hate should be sent to any of the shows or individuals mentioned on this program, so please don't be rude, gross, weird, and all those are the things I don't subscribe to. Grab your libations and strap in because Maddie is a talker and you may be here for a while, and please don't post any spoilers in the chat because what's wrong with you if you feel uncomfortable after viewing this program consume some activia and have yourself a good boot okay fabulous listen i had a good time with this episode um you know i love a design challenge and i love a little bit of drama i am mad at certain people making early decisions especially my sister safira but the libra kicked in and i know what happened for those of you of balanced scales, whether you're September or October, what Safira did, I saw what happened. <laughs> I was like, oh, she she pulled her scales tipped. Uh-uh, we're going to get there. Because I'm mad at the decision, but I understand why she did it. But at the same time, I'm like, trust me, we saw the looks. You would have been fine <laughs> this week. Uh, that's a one on the two. You know, glad to see that some people finally got their wish. Honestly, it was a good win for them. I do want to say that the storyline is certainly pulling towards Plain Jane is not awful, which I don't think she's awful in my opinion. I just know Mama has a mouth on her. But I said, oh, here we go with the storyline. <laughs> here we go with this is the reason why. I said, oh, here we go. Then we got Q's background. I said, I think I know where this episode is going. Law Roach needs to be a rotating judge or at least permanent on this panel is where I'm going to begin this before. I, I know I'm getting this out early before I even do my socials, but I have to just, I, I just got finished watching. I just got finished getting the uh, screen grabs. So basically I'm fresh off of this. If he brings that kind of energy every week where it's really very palpable and it's not what happened on Legendary, I, I didn't mind him on Legendary, but there were episodes where I was not on Law Side. I was not. I, I just want my panel to be somewhat representative of a little bit more. And a lot of the girls are saying the same, but I don't know. I just would like to see him more on the show because it brings out a lot in Rue when I see T.S. Madison sit on the panel and seeing Law there, I felt almost the same kind of energy. Plus, he was very unpleasant and untalked. We'll get there. What else do I need to get into before we start all of this? There are a couple people who were safe that should have had conversations, Megami. But we'll, we'll go there. We'll talk about it. We'll do it today. It's at Maddie Rance everywhere except for X, which is at the Maddie Rance. There's a link tree link in my about section on my YouTube channel that provides all the links that are available for you here per algorithm purposes. That's why you don't see in the description anymore because it's not, they don't like that. So go to my about section, click on those link tree links and it just one. I don't know why I said links. And it'll take you to both my X, my Instagram and all those other spaces and places. I'm going a little viral. 
last, since last night, for those of you who are my Twitter, this has been making a, a couple of numbers. I'm like, okay, work. I see a lot of y'all didn't watch Legendary Law. It was being quite nice tonight on uh, hashtag Drag Race. And the reason why I tweeted that we'll get into later. Because I'm a fan and a subscriber of Hero Evangelista, and I was uh, noticing they posted a clip of Law, and some comments were like, what? Are you serious? You thought that was too... You're you're not prepared. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for this life. <laughs> I was like, you thought that was bad. Hmm. And I love Hero, so that's nothing against them. It's just some of the audience members I see, they probably are not over here. Because, <laughs> so there you go. Also, I do reactions on Patreon. Uh, check it out. I do uh, all of the episodes we talk about here as well as some Patreon exclusives. I actually have this episode posted as well as UK versus the World 2. For those of you who are subscribers and those of you who are wondering, Maddie, it just came out yesterday on top of season 16. When are you going to do UK versus the world too? Y'all know I posted my schedule in the community tab section. And so it is as follows from Sunday to Saturday. Sunday's the panel. Monday is UK versus the world season two. I'm going to get, I'm going, um, yes, I, while I love you, Mayhem, I'm going to talk about you, girl. It was funny, but I also was like, that is really bad. <laughs> I'm so proud of my friends on the show, too. They all did very well this first episode. So I'm going to be very excited to talk about that on Monday with you specifically. It will be in the afternoon. I want to base it around the time when I know all my babies in the Philippines are going to be up or somewhat close to the morning time, as well as everybody in the... Uh, across the pond because it's UK versus the world. It's not USA versus the world. So I'm trying to make sure that they all can get a piece of that live action that we all enjoy over here. Uh, Tuesdays is going to be Tekken Tuesdays. If you don't know this, I do live uh, fight nights, I should say, from 5 to 8 p.m. on Tuesdays at Central Time. Join those lives. It's a good time. We talk a little tea. We're, of course, having good chats and conversations. If you want to fight me, you can fight me. You can beat me. I will win. The majority of the time, I'm going to say it just like that sure did. Uh, but I do have some excellent rant pack competitors that come in there and, and throw hands. We have a good time on Tuesdays. That current video is sitting under 700 now. Please run over there. Get that video up to 1K. Uh, some people were tweeting about how much they enjoyed it. I think you would enjoy it as well. It's a good time, especially if nothing to do on a Tuesday and you're waiting on your shows to start. It's right before the shows. I planned it that way. <laughs> also, Wednesdays is Drag Race Espana All-Stars Day. As you know, Drag Race Espana All-Stars is out now. That's on Sundays. Sundays. <laughs> that comes out Sundays. So the review is on Wednesdays. We'll have that on Wednesdays, right? I have a break on Thursday. I have a filming day uh, on Friday for Patreon. And then, of course, back to Saturday like we are today with the review. So as you can see, five days a week, content, content, content. The girls that talk about me and do all that dragging, baby, I'm pushing it. So play with your mom if you want to. Don't play with me. <laughs> all right? Five days a week, you got me. Patreon, you already know what's up. It's about four days a week over there. Also catch me in the live chat on Patreon. Book a blonde cameo. I just fulfilled a request to one of my babies out there. Shout out to you. And then, of course, uh, merch available at Drag Queen merch.com because a lot of people try to work my opinion and say he don't do drag how's he talking with this fool baby i'm piece of cake of the davenports that my mother is honey davenport look it up okay i've already performed i'm currently getting my full juice together there peas peas is coming around the corner here she comes so don't even worry about it, babies. But I like to do things on my own time because my Virgo rising has the perfections to me where I'm like, you can't see me in the butter phase. You can see me half butter, but not full butter. <laughs> We're getting there. So listen, thanks for tuning in once again. Reminder, disclaimer, it's a program for entertainment purposes only. If you want to drop a tip in my jar for your boy hosting today, I am a single father of two adorable kids that I love so, so, so very much. 
there's a cute little video I'm about to start doing for all of my intros so I can make it shorter, but Mamu and Mina are going to be the stars of that video. I'm editing it now. Uh, but if you want to drop me a little love my way, it does go a very long way out here in these streets. I got to get my car fixed. Uh, Y'all know I had doctor's appointment this past week. I have to change my diet again. Your boy, uh, since he got out of pre-diabetic phase, the doctor was like, you have been doing something with sugar. So I'm now very close to the edge again, and I have to reconfigure my entire diet up. And I'm like, Matt, stay on the course. Trust me. So that doctor's visit was very important. I now understand why my stomach was hurting those last couple of weeks. Uh, but yes, if you want to drop a little tip in my charts, people that me for slash my rants, catch up with all Simon rants, Vim rants, anything and everything is super helpful for, of course, the babies, for the cats, me uh, getting this car fixed. I don't have to take these Ubers no more because, girl, I just got to get a uh, starter and a new battery and it'll be fixed. And then, of course, my final vacation, not my final, but my first vacation over three years to Miami. I'll be putting that towards that fund too. I am, I need a break. <laughs> so yes, anything and everything is super helpful. But that thumbs up button is so for free. Please hit that sucker as well as just get in the comment section. The algorithm really does matter. And it's super helpful for YouTube to understand that I am one of them. I'm one of y'all. Put me up in there. So yes, not necessary, but certainly appreciated, if you will. And thank you so very much. That last part for the girls that try me, DW. Not necessary, but certainly appreciate it. And I thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you. All right. I see a super chat. Let me give you some love. Our Mendez replaced Ross with Nicole Byer, Carson with Law, and TS has her own C. I would not mind. I'm just, not, I would just not mind. And, and it's not to shade Carson and Ross like I'm supposed to, like, how dare you talk about, against them? No, they've had a very long run. Ask Merrill Ginsburg. <laughs> they've had a very long run and it's been fine, but sometimes it's getting a little, I need to switch up. That's why I'm always happy. Uh, happy. That's why I'm always happy that T.S. Madison is up there and she sort of changes them out. It gives us a fresh take. And then also like this week, they kept Madison. It wasn't one of the, we've had you for about 10 years now kind of folks. And law comes in and it's like, Ooh, and they know fashion. Like currently, no shade to Carson once again. Currently, they know fashion, okay? There's also a black trans woman on this panel. I don't know what the issue is. I think this should literally be the main cast if we, if white woman, black gay man, trans black woman, they then fashionista stylist, full on extraordinaire. All the colors of the way. I, in my opinion, Carson could roll in Ross could roll in every now and then sort of bit. But like, if you want it, I want main changes, not just put them on in there and just give us a little bit of this. I'm tired of it. We like seasoning in our food. And I include that for all of you, including my girls that say I always make this about race. I see you, pinks. I'm just saying, I think we all deserve a little good food sometimes. And I think it brings out the best in RuPaul when I hear commentary around her that sort of reflects off of her in a very good way, personally, personally. So I'm not shading anybody right now. I'm not saying I don't like those two leather handbags that have been sitting on that panel. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that it's almost time for a change and a flip with the panel and not RuPaul necessarily just yet. Just with the judges. I love Ross. I love Carson. There's no disrespect to them. They have honestly changed the game with the show. We used to have Santino Rice for fuck's sake. Y'all remember how Santino was. Okay. Someone writing the letter S in cursive looking ass. I, 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 we're, we're just, no. You know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, don't bring him back. Mm -mm, we good. We good. He's on some other shit now. Uh, Mera was fine, but I never gave. I was like, oh, okay. But when Michelle got there with her titties, I was like, all right. And without titties, she still get. I like Michelle. She, we don't have to agree all the time, but there's a staple. There's respect in the community with her. I just feel like Raw, oh, excuse me, Raw. <laughs> Law and T.S. Madison are excellent on this panel and i could see law's excitement and love for this show as well as respect for rupaul emulate through their commentary but they also gave us a little bit of law not not roach 
<laughs> from Legendary because Baby used to drag. And she gave Geneva the work, but people taking that Danny DeVito joke, that's, it's so weird. Y'all want everything to be something about you. Body shape. G girl, stop. Like, girl, stop. Even when I was listening to Crystal and Trixie on, uh, you know, the pit stop this morning, right before I started this, because I was like, okay, I got all my notes. I got everything together. Let me watch what they got to say. I was like, girl, what? This thing, like, you were El DeBarge for the whole entire season. Calm down. Calm down. Nothing of the sorts. Like, calm down. <laughs> I thought it was cute. And if they thought it was going to be really bad, the editing department would have cut that joke out. So, anywho. Sorry. I need to get that off. But, yes. This panel, they gave me what I needed this week. That's why I even like the episode more. Plus, it's a design challenge. The drama was there. Question. All the good stuff. Nymphia should have had a conversation. Oop. Tim, thank you so much for the super chat. Super, super, oh, get that out. Super chat. <laughs> hey, Matt, I just got official news that I'll be starting a new, yes, new job with a higher title in a new industry next month. Work, Tim. Appreciate all your entertainment since I was in college during season nine to now. Oh, Tim, don't do that. You're going to, you're telling everyone I'm old. <laughs> I have been covering this show since season nine on YouTube. This isn't new for me. I've been here in the game for years. I see a lot of new YouTubers in the Drag Race community get those big numbers quickly. I think that's amazing. But, you know, of course, Tim, I always appreciate folks that have been with me from the beginning to now, which you have probably seen me cross this, you know, <laughs> country <laughs> travel. So appreciate it, Tim. Congratulations on the new title for your job. Y'all send Tim congratulations. Thanks for tuning in. I love that even the girls from Drag Race are like retweeting my story. <laughs> oh, it's a good time. All right, let's get the show started, kids. Thanks for being here today. Once again, hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. And if you want to drop a tip in my jar, paypal.me for a slash my rants, cash up doll Simon rants, and Vim Manish rants. It's really appreciated and super necessary. Uh, Charlie Brown, I love the shirt. Y'all who are commenting on this shirt. So when I used to have a nine to five and I worked at this job and my title was in fraud, I was a fraud specialist at this job. I used to, whenever your uh, account was hacked and shit, I was the person who had to go in and do a lot of work for you and sometimes days trying to find out where your money went. Uh, one of my coworkers who was a very good friend of mine at the time, she was a designer and she was learning how to sew. And so she asked to make a shirt for me. And this is the shirt that she made for me from like the material and all that stuff that I got. So whenever I wear it, it reminds me of where I started. Like when I first started my YouTube channel, and I had that job and I was like, I can't do this anymore. And I'm like, I'm just going to take a, a risk and just go and just leap. This is how this beginning happens. So when I wear this, just so y'all know, it, it it's emulating of keep going, Maddie. Like you're not fully the highest of the girls, but you are that one. <laughs> Dustin, thank you so much for the super chat. It's my birthday today. So glad to be hearing, uh, here, hearing, here, listening to your live rants. Dustin, happy birthday to you. Congratulations on your born day. Hope you have a wonderful day. I hope it's a good day. Um, and that if you do decide to go out and get a little inebriated baby, that you have a Uber or Lyft ride home and that you get home safely. So have a happy birthday. If you want me to do an artist, let me know. If I'll try to pull out some, yeah, artists from my throat. It's not going to be Justin Timberlake, though, because I have standards. 279 in the room. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's go. All right. I am sad that Amanda's gone. I, 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 her energy is missed. What I don't miss is the consistent is Jane versus her bit. So this feels almost like Dragula with JK, except it was just Uno versus the Moss. And we had to not have to deal with this for the, basically the majority of the season. So I was like, okay, we're, we're letting that go. Mind you, didn't I say that who is playing Jane going to pick on next? And certainly enough, the one person in Untuck that got the most from her was Plasma. I told you the nose knows the nose knows. I'm telling you, I said, oh, she coming from those nostrils. <laughs> 
She is because she wants it. Will, thank you so much for the super chat. Sometimes I feel bad for not being a part of a uh, rant pack pre Titans CVT uh, Canada versus the world because you're in my eyes a staple in the RPDR social universe. Well, thank you so much, Will. Bible girl and me had a long conversation about that and she made me cry when we were talking about bitch. You've been, you, you were there in the days when some of these girls don't even have channels anymore and cover drag race and you still going for us. Yup. <laughs> Because I love the show. It's my favorite reality show on television, regardless of what people say and how critical my opinions are. This is, for me, my Super Bowl. This is my Olympics. This is everything for me. And I love drag so much. I live and breathe for it. I do. I do. I love going to shows. I love seeing queens get ready. I love the back room conversation, the dressing room bit. I love getting in drag. I love doing like feeling fooling just in my mo. Honey, it's it's amazing. I highly, you know, they say don't everybody do drag. No, it's 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 very changed my life. Telling you, Lady Lisa, thank you so much for the super chat. Hello, Maddie and Rampack. Well, hello back to you, Barb. Thank you so much for being here. I'm going to miss Amanda, but, you know, I don't know if I could have taken another, what artwork is this face? Now, listen, you know this bald-headed lady had to uh, lift that wig in the back. It had been a, a, a tough night of trying to find her rhythm, so she needed to ventilate that cap. <laughs> Oh, I can't do it today. But listen, um, I, I'm happy that, uh, you know, Thick and Stick won last week. They deserved it, in my opinion. And a lot of the queens are respecting this. But of course, one thing I'm recognizing that does start to wear me out a little bit. Mandy Jane, it's funny you say sibling watchery because... They probably don't know I subscribe. They're the only other, like, I don't have any other Patreon that I subscribe to outside of Bob and Monet's. That's the only people that's going to get my $5 a month. They probably don't know it's me because my name doesn't pop up as Maddie Rance. It pops up as something else. But, like, because I like to be incog, you know, I don't want to know what it is up here. <laughs> but, yeah, it's the only one I subscribe to. And, you know, Bob, and that's, that's one of my good people. I love me some Bob and Monet and me are, are related drag family wise. So like, yeah, I'm always going to support my bitches for real. Even when I don't agree with everything. So listen, I almost said something else, but I had to remind my, me that I'm not duly and I'm not going to put the end of the egress into the incog because I'm bright and I'm light and I don't want to get toasted and roasted and <laughs> let out like that. <laughs> Joyce, you are, that's exactly what I wanted to say. But listen, I have to be sometimes a little smallette. Okay? A little bit. I just won't go to Subway at 3 a.m. because I, you know, have taste. That's the second joke. Second time I use that one. Uh, listen, Don tried to be funny in this moment, talking about a shared win, and Geneva had her last clap back. I'm kidding. Her first clap back of the last of clapbacks that she would have this episode, uh, when it would come to, well, more than you, bitch. It's true because Don doesn't have a W. I do want Don with the W, but at the same time, it was like, hold on, sister. It was a cute key. People online were trying to read Don. I hate that I'm on X sometimes, slash Twitter, whatever you want to call it. I hate it. Because, bitch, I be seeing shit. I'm like, are y'all really taken up in arms over her throwing a little shade? This was, That wasn't even heavy cream. That was sugar-free. I know all about it. <laughs> I, like, I thought that was crazy. I was like, oh, okay. So we're just mad. Yes, girl. Like, every time they do the first 12 minutes, Everyone goes, I'm going to give you all a little X history for those of you who are not on there, but you're like, Matt, just tell us about it. I'm like, okay. X is weird because I'm not going to blame Elon Musk, but I am doing it right now. <laughs> I feel like he's allowed more to really roll out personally and toxic behavior is sort of given a, a highlight. And in, anywho, uh, I know it because I reported some racism and there was nothing done. I was like, wow. Uh but people take one little piece of something and then just go. 
And so they were all talking about how darn got room to talk like that. And then also bringing up other things. And it was just like, girl, what are we talking about today? Like, this is getting very annoying. We can have opinions, but <laughs> like, can we think <laughs> before we just react to stuff? My shit. <laughs> So here, I'm going to give you all some advice on what to do. And this is how I don't get spoiled um, most days or nights of. And I need to tell Dooley and everybody else to do this that complains whenever they have this happen. Just go on to the section in your settings where you can mute words and just mute drag race. And then I'm going to do you even better. Pick a girl who you know everyone talks about and just put their name in as well. Like, you can then search them on your own and find stuff. So you can be like, okay, I wasn't spoiled. Let me go look for things now. Or you can just remove it later. But, like, do it the day of. Re and, and, and close out that app. Refresh that bitch and turn it right back on. A completely different algorithm. You are welcome. This is how I saved myself from Barb conversation. I never know what's happening with Taylor Swift. I do not want to know. If I don't think positively of someone, why would I actively go out and search for them? I have nothing nice to say. So mute you, mute your fans. I don't know. I'm not even going to speak about you. I don't even want to look at you. Oh, my life is so good. <laughs> It'll change the world. So please do yourself that favor. Mute. Block people, if you will. Girls like to take screenshots now and use that as badges of honors. Like, you know, we on some sort of like high school brigade and shit. I, I forget some people do watch the show in school, but like for real, for real, like just mute a bitch. They gonna be just talking to you. You won't even know. Just talking to you. Fuck you. I wouldn't know. <laughs> Back to the show. Listen, um, light conversation in between. You know, Q is called to the floor a little bit here when it comes to, well, you, we had to say people's names and, you know, there was a little issue with Tsunami. So what's Gooby? And, you know, Tsunami has the right to feel the way they want to feel in the spit that is uh, attached to the bottom of Q's tongue to that one gap in between those teeth there, uh, a bridge not too far. It is what it is. Like, she said what she had to say. Tsunami felt some kind of way. It is what it is. Like, they both can say and do whatever. Am I shady for putting this picture up? Maybe. Is this actually a shot in the show that happened? Yes. So, technically, I can't be shady for what the producers clocked in. But also, you all have saliva in your mouth, so calm the fuck down. But yes, I just thought it was funny because she was like, girl, I thought you should go home. I asked it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Anywho, no shade to Q. I do like Q. They just can't dance at all. Not even, not even close. Nope. Nope. The following day, Plain Jane lets us know that they're on their congenial error. Are you saying that you have more respect for everybody in this room compared to the respect that you had before? Because because I would say that's kind of that's kind of you know dick cheese of you, but okay, schmegma work, go for it. Okay, interesting. It's funny that you say fallacy after what I just said. There's such a hypocrite. So I see we're on the same. Playing. Ah. <laughs> no, but I, listen. God bless that little Russian. God bless him, okay? That's all I have. That's all I have. Jane is stupid. She's funny. She knows what she's doing. This is TV. This is a conversation, okay? We are literally talking about her. I see you, sister. I'm not mad at the game that she's playing. I really don't hate it. I just think that... At the time, like when Amanda was there, it was like, okay, girl, like, okay, mom, all right, in this thing. And then, you know, a couple of other moments that are going to happen in this episode where it's like, I don't think so. And then all of a sudden they then tell us, which Jane's story is valid of having parents that are critical of them. I'm not taking that away. But like a lot of people have already disengaged from whatever humanity that she's 
you know, possibly had inside of that body because of the episodes of, oh, she's just a bitch, but not in Mirage's sense. That's the issue. And so I received it, but I was also like, girl, it's so crazy that it takes Amanda leaving for us to now find out this is why you are the way that you are. But a lot of folks would also say that your past trauma should not be the emphasis of your character today. I also would then question a lot of folks in understanding that the human mind doesn't work the same as one would work for itself. So like other folks actually still have their own attachments to things from their past that do not leave them because of comfortability. But it's also a question of who you are as a person and what you receive as change, in my opinion, personally. But I was just like, congenial? Let's not do all that. This is You're saying that for shit. That's fun. That's going to bring the girls to go, oh, no, she's not. Oh, no, she's not. And Plasma takes that bait every time. RuPaul is blending in with the walls. Catch it, Rosebud. But no, I do love this outfit. It's this mixture of prints. It's very interesting. And we get another legendary queen to enter the workroom, and that is of Charo proportions. Hi, my name is Maddie Rance. I am confused as to why Spain was mentioned today. And not at one point in time was there ever once a a franchise in Spain, Drag Race, a spot we have even moved our franchise. I was wondering, it's like, hmm, is it separate from that or is that just not important right now? It's not a big deal, but I was thinking, it's crazy that, yeah, Espana All-Stars just came out. The mini challenge is flamenco dancing, a Spain reference. And there is no mention of Drag Race España as a way of promoting that Drag Race is beyond just this level. I am not saying that that's RuPaul's fault. I don't know if that's just, again, they're going off of a teleprompter and a script. I would have found that to be interesting to show on MTV in the States so that people know, oh, there's another show. It's in Spanish. Oh, it's WOW Presents. It's a streaming app for those who watch just MTV. I found that to be a little bit of a missed opportunity there, but I was like, okay, that that's that's what they wanted to. That's fine. I hey, Wow presents. I, that would have been an excellent opportunity for plugging. Um, do it in the future. You want to bring somebody from Belgium over here for some re? Yeah, Rita comes by and shows people how not to do their face. Showcase the show when Pangina. Pops in possibly, ooh, what a good guest judge that would be for U.S. Drag Race. Bam, we got Thailand 3 coming out. Promo, promo, pro. I'm just saying, keep it in there. <laughs> Maybe it's an MTV thing. I don't know, but um, I was like, okay, interesting. Interesting. Anywho, Charo is there. God bless Charo. She's always a good time. And again, for those of you who have not lived that long in your life just yet, uh, we're losing celebrities every day. And when you see people who you have seen for over 20 plus years, for me, 30 plus years on my television screen, and you then you see Char on the show, it's a big deal. Just like RuPaul at her good old prime age, bitch. It's a big deal. Because people be going every left and right. So I'm happy to see Miss Charo, okay? Mama's up there. So I was very happy, and at the same time, this seemed like a very cute mini challenge to do some flamenco dancing. They had a different pit crew today. Whew. Let me tell you who I want to dance with. <laughs> oh, I want to dance with some him. Him. The other one, ooh, out the way. Nope, you, it, you look good work. This one, I wish I was Nymphia. I was mad at Nymphia a little bit because she kind of missed the cue for a pool. And I was like, girl, where is the pool? It's not happening. I need her for the pool. What's going on? She missed it. Baby. Baby. Shout out to Joey J. They just retweeted me. Also, I met Joey J. Good people. 
Good people. Hey, Joey. Um, he, when he pulls her girl, when I tell you, but listen, have you seen when when dogs get connected, child, and they can't unlock? <laughs> Have you seen that shit when they when they like get locked in and all of a sudden they can't pull out? It's like, oh my god! Listen, <laughs> when I tell you that would have been a finger trap, I wouldn't have removed myself from them. Oh, I just want to, you know what, Maddie? It is about that time. It is because now you're just talking. You're just talking, sister. Disclaimer: This program is for entertainment purposes only. This is not gross. Who said Latin cars? <laughs> Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, let's come back. Y'all are disgusting. I don't like that. That's disgusting. How dare you? See, this audience I find to be, how could you bring me to that level? I would never talk about. All right, let's move on. So let's talk about how everyone's performances went, shall we? (laughs) Again, very, very, very cool challenge. It was fun. And you know what else was great about this challenge? We didn't have to listen to one of RuPaul's, you know, car wash CD songs to do this number. We didn't have to hear it. I listen, you may you may be like, now Maddie, I like the country music. No, you don't. I may like that one song we don't like. No, you no, you don't. No, you don't. Mm-mm. And I love RuPaul, but in unless Skeletal Key got a hold of it, I don't I don't want to see it. That is her bread and butter right there for her music, in my opinion. Because she used to work with that one guy who went on, you know, that rant that was homophobic, transphobic, racist, uh, what was his name? Lucian um, Pillow Stick. Remember how that was the one? And we got Sexy Drag Queen and that was the beat. Huh, All-Star Season 1 and 2, y'all were given the glory. Because, baby, that song used to give the girls the work. Baby, walk down to that music. Ow, so puss. But we had to let him go. Mm, I'm just saying. Now, I I liked... Uh, Matt, she got eliminated. You know this baby's name. I liked what Geneva did. I did. Geneva actually was uh, doing a good job for this challenge. I personally uh, enjoyed it. You know, she gave a little bit of flair. Dawn? All right. Listen, y'all, hold on. I hold on. I need to get this real quick. I'm gonna get off camera for just two minutes. Hold on just a second here. Thanks for tuning in. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Give me two minutes here. I need to take this real quick. I got a phone call. I'm sorry, hold on just a second.
My apologies. Thank you so much for your patience. Okay. That was a lot. I appreciate y'all for tuning in. My apologies. Whew. Got on the phone. I had to take a very important phone call. I have been waiting on uh, possible opportunities in the future. Maddie has been auditioning for things in the background. So I needed to take that phone call in the midst of that phone call. As I'm on the phone having a conversation about the next time I can do a video, video interview, Ford said thing. The Mativia kicks in and I'm like, this is not happening. This is not happening. I'm trying to get back to the review. And I was this close to getting on, y'all. I put my headphones on. So, yes. Uh, so, so, two good things happened today. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> i know i know what i tell you i was like on the phone having to hit mute every other <sighs> yes absolutely i could be there for that time mm -hmm. yes absolutely you show right mm, yes 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 baby we will do this are you oh yeah <laughs> i'm fine i'm fine just Never again before a video. I will have a probiotic yogurt. Okay? I'm never doing it again. My God. All right. Thanks for tuning in. I said thanks for tuning in. Oh, my God. <laughs> Let's talk about the show, please. Let's talk about the show. Oh, it's actually kind of on brand for me uh, to be real with you, Natasha, because, you know, we talk about our bodies over here. That's health. Gut health is the best health. Now, Morphine Love Dion was at, this was actually a really cute dress. There was not a lot of, well, Dawn looked like Marsha, Marsha, Marsha without rhythm. So it was a little bit tough to watch my sister get up there and give first time in Chola makeup. And it was like, no, not for me. I did like Morphine's outfit, but Mama was doing a solo. I don't think she wanted to dance with that man. I think she wanted to dance with the other one. <laughs> I'm so bad. I said, thanks for tuning in. That's stupid. I <laughs> didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> I thought Malay, oh, excuse me. I thought Maya did a very good job. I was just looking at a tweet from Malaysia. Oh, speaking of which, I just saw a tweet that relates to the mini challenge while I was on the phone. I'm so glad I looked at my phone. Bitch, we got to talk about it. I think what happened was really sweet today. Like, really cool. Safira was, you know, Safira was. <laughs> Spirit gave me leads. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, he's so cute. Not Jane, the other guy. He's so cute. Jane. I'm going to start calling her Tsunami Braxton. Seven whole days. Ah, I love how you. I can't fake, it won't take, it won't leave it alone. I'll give you all my love. Bitch, that is 90s Tony hair down. Hang with all of them. Bitch, I love it. I'm telling you, that is the that is my good Tony Braxton wig down. Uh, but Tsunami was dancing for filth. I lived. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. Loved it, loved it, loved it. I was a little, I kind of like the little mushroom bob for uh, our tsunami personally. See, this is why I wanted to be Nymphia. Do you understand? Do you see why? I would, what, come on now. That man's whole hand was wrapped around that waist. Oh, the pull, the tug. It was great. I liked it. I loved it. I live for it. It was here. It was that. Listen, I also put a poll up at the beginning of this video. We got, what are you excited to talk about most? The dramas at 26%, the challenge is 34, judges 33, 7% for the lip sync. I mean, that lip sync was a slaughter, but you know, 
I, I did I didn't see Geneva making it past that to be honest. <laughs> like if she somehow stays over Maya, well, this is a show. <laughs> it's a show. <laughs> Beak to beak, I was like, it, it's like one nose is like a, a, a you know a, a black diamond as far as like ski slopes in scale, and the other one's giving a little bit of green energy for new players. Pizza, French fry, ice cream cone. I'm talking about. The, it's like a waterfall, and one is like just a slide, like you know. What I'm saying? I when I said, damn, they got real close. Do they not know what will happen? A Magnolia Crawford will appear. You can't put two noses together that close. Magnolia Crawford will resurrect. It's not what we need. Yeah, that was beak to beak. I, I, let me tell you something. Two can Sam over here. No, I'm, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop because I like class, but I'm just I'm just joking. But you have to understand because of the scale from the ship's mast that was then put in the ocean before it had any sort of like hold. She tipped over and the boat almost sank. You don't understand this. I watched Plasma try to take this man out in real time. Real time. I said, she's a killer. That's what that state plasma the killer. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But like it was funny because plasma does read as excited a lot of the times. And mama was feeling herself. She saw the other girls getting dips and pools. She was like, oh bitch, I want to give that too. Damn near killed the man. <laughs> it was his face for me. When they <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, God, looking like Liza Minot, uh, you know, <laughs> he pulled her back up like, you weren't going to go, but I'm looking at you. Are you good? <laughs> oh, my goodness. It was it was funny. It was funny. It's terrible dancing afterwards, but it was funny. Uh, honestly, Megami was doing good, but shit kept falling off of her. And RuPaul and Taro. It was a nice, nice little challenge. It was nice. So this is what I just found out. And I'm glad I looked this up because it's more tea for this. And it makes this even sweeter. Tsunami wins the mini challenge. In my personal opinion, I absolutely agree. I really enjoyed her dancing. And she wins a trip to Spain. Now, hold the fuck up. And Tsunami, this is me, just as a viewer, as also maybe also a queen in the workroom who won like 2,500 two weeks ago, and then she gets a trip to Spain, and I'm thinking, I'm going to start adding up stuff. Are they are they paying for the flight? I got it, Jose. Are you paying for the flight? Are you paying for this? Are you paying for that? da 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 da, -da. All that kind of stuff, right? That's where my mind, I'm like, oh, that's, ooh. Oh, that's a whole, that's a whole thing. Ah. But, and I just saw this, that's why I did, don't need no help here. Um, Tsunami is not able to go on said trip. It's like she just can't leave and just go to Spain, right? So they decided to then reward her with $5,000, which I think is very good and would be kind of close to, if not right there, with the whole Spain trip, if it includes airfare, accommodations, per diem, the whole bit. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, well, yes, that makes the most sense. So she worked out then a deal with production about the prize itself and who she would want to give it to. And they agreed, which I got to give it to Drag Race for this and those who were in charge of the prizes. That is so fucking nice of them to do. Because I remember girls not even getting money from places that don't exist anymore because they ran out of business. But Hershey was awarded the trip to Spain. And it was really cute. And her, like, surprise happened sort of, like, on Twitter. So her, she, like, finds out through Twitter. It's like, what? It's like, yeah. <laughs> that was kind of cool. I was like, oh, this is cute. So very nice to see because I was happy for Tsunami. Like, oh, you got a nice trip. But also, like, I can't go, oh, y'all are going to help me out with that. But hold on. Can we give it to somebody who went home? Her, she didn't win nothing. Come on. Now, that's cute. I'm here for it. 
No, it was in, um, I'm trying to remember the T, but it, I think it was Delta Work, the supply to, or it was somebody on season two or three. Was it three? Probably three. I think it was three. And it had to do with a furniture company or like a uh, interior decorating company that was supposed to reward somebody with some money because of a mini challenge. But they went out of business and they couldn't give them the rest money. If that's old tea from a long time ago. I'd have to look it up again because that was from a lot. Yeah, it was Delta Work on season three. I remember her. I think she was she talking to Johnny. Hey, Queen. I have to remember where I saw that. But it was a long time ago. And it happened to a couple other queens too, but it was early seasons, like real early, early, more, more early seasons this took place on. So yeah, yeah, not hot. <laughs> Keith, not cold tea, not, not hot. <laughs> it, it, that lets you know that I've been covering this show and have been watching since the beginning. <laughs> so there you go. Uh, but moving forward, shout out to Tsunami, deserve me challenge win. <sighs> onto the maxi challenge and what it is now bitch i think i need another poll i think i would want i, I want to hear y'all's opinions on this because in reality i have questions should this challenge be a staple on seasons like i i, I just want to know yes or no when it comes to this doll challenge in particular. I like this. This actually makes a lot of sense. Can you imagine if sugar and spice were given this challenge? Now, I want to ask them to find a collection that um, is a little bit So, some of these babies were interesting to stare at. Some of the faces were giving. So did y'all take heads from different people and then put them on? Like it, it gave a hodgepodge. It felt very, you know, Sid's room in Toy Story for a second on a couple folks. I assume somebody with a uh, spider uh, connects arms was about to come out and that be, I thought that was going to be Dawn's doll. For sure. Give it the fucked up looking one. I thought that was going to be it. So I was like, mm, to me, I think they should have. Okay, here I go. Matt, I don't know what happened. I don't know how what, what took place there. But if this is a challenge in the future, which I think it'd be so smart to do, especially because we love design challenges. It also makes sure that the queens that are coming to the show need to know how to sew some. Is that all of the dolls should be already catered to the queen and how they look like ahead of time. So if you just cast these people, what's the time frame and take for somebody to make custom dolls that are just shells that they can look like them? So just, just for me, because Maya's doll, uh-uh. Safira's doll, uh-uh. A, a lot of them, uh-uh. I was like, who is that? I don't know who that is. I don't, I don't know that now. No, 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 no. Most of the girls of color, just all of them in particular of color. I'm just gonna be real with you. Yeah, I was like, mm -hmm. however, I like this shot. I thought it was cute. This is some I, I, hey, I like the Barbie movie. Also, there were times when we played with dolls back in the day. You know, some of us gays were trying to get in with the fit in. You know what I mean? And my sister had dolls and we would secretly play and shit like that. So I would be up for this kind of shit because not only is it a design challenge, it's a branding challenge. That was smart. They want a story. They want a brand. They want a look. I think they got the money for it. This is, if you only knew how much you wow, wow actually brings in, I think they got the money for customs. Uh, you know, the, hey, <laughs> but like, it's a brilliant challenge. It's multiple ones put into one. It's not just make something look good and then come out here and that's what we're focused on. No, we want the story too. We want you to sell what it is and you, you need to give it on the runway. I loved it. I really did. They need to do this more often. It's cute. Or just design challenges in general. Acting's fine, but... 
it, it just can't be the majority acting season. Like we saw how that happens. It does. It's not really good, especially when people suck. No shade to the Queens, but if you're not good at acting in its majority acting challenges, it's going to be Shakespeare and nobody wants that. Yeah, some of the dolls did look a little strange in the in, in the brain a little bit. Hey, we got the votes in. 85% of you said yes uh, to this. 86, excuse me. And 14% are saying no. Thank you for tuning in. Apologies for my break. And for those of you who may have been disturbed by my reveal of information, I'm a very open individual. Do me a favor, hit the like button, share it, subscribe, become a part of this Rant Pack family. And if I'm hosting with the most of them right now and you want to support a single father of two, Adorable babies who are sleeping over in the corner right now. It's paypal.me forward slash for the rants, cash up, doll Simon rants, and Vimo Medi dash rants. Anything and everything is always super helpful and much appreciated. But that thumbs up button is for free, as well as this comment section, because the algorithm matters. Hashtag algorithm matters. Okay, moving forward. And hey, everybody who just got in, what's up? Choo -choo. Three design challenges a season. I'm here for that. A ball a branding design challenge and an unconventional. <gasps> That's it. There's the three. Unconventional materials, a branding design challenge, because it needs to be something based off of them. And then a ball. Boom. That's it. That's, that should be the fourth. That should be the, that's the print. And maybe throw in something where you're designing a room again, because I actually did like that challenge for all stars when they had to work in groups and then design like hotel rooms or getaways and this kind of experience and stuff like that, or the club scene a little bit. That does make sense. Also think about it. A lot of these babies work in that atmosphere of club environments where we are going to be as individuals and patrons. It kind of all goes together. Shit. Like we say, drag queens doing drag queen things, but also things that apply to their work outside of just the TV show. Because when they leave the show, they got to go back to reality again, not TV reality. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so once this is done, they have to create a doll. They must, it needs to be brandable, something that is related to them that speaks to who they are as the queen. And they have to sell it with a story. Because I don't want to look at the doll and be like, who is this? It needs to be Morphine. It needs to be Megami. It needs to be Plain Jane, Don, Sephira. Like, that's what they want to do with the doll. But then you will also need to sell it with a cute story. This is the only reason why I think Nymphia was not in the top this week, was the story. And the bow didn't match on the doll. That's the only two reasons I can possibly think of for why she was not in the top this week. Because, God damn, that dress was gorgeous. Listen, everyone's going for colors. I think... Q did one of the smartest things possible as a designer by going for the more mute tones and the earth tone colors. Very intelligent decision to do so. It would make them stand out in the competition. Nymphia is going for yellow because that is the brand. Again, branding challenge. Oh, how mad I would have been if I had sat there and listened to someone go, well, I'm trying to think outside the box this week because I want the judges to see a different side of me. Bitch, they said a branding challenge. How is it something new you? <laughs> please, please, como estas? <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Have mercy, Jesus. Uh, hold on here, y'all. I just want to see something real quick. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll pay the cable bill. My bad. Forgot about that. Sorry, I got my little email. <laughs> we have not received. It's coming. I got to pay for the internet. <laughs> all right. So listen, they're going through the fabrics. They're going through all the stuff and the materials. <sighs> Geneva. Oh, Geneve. Janine, 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 Janine. My sister, baby girls. Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Okay. You were kind of set up to go home today and for multiple occasions, re re reasons? <laughs> reasons and persuasions. Um, madam, okay, she finds fabric. It's not a lot of it and it's stretch fabric and you know you need a lot of it. 
you should have already been picking up something else from the get-go immediately. Jane's like, I need this fabric too. And she's like, no, nah, I'm going to have it, sister. It's mine. I said, okay, here we go. Let her know we're not going to play fair because you've been a bitch all season. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I like the drama, I like the mess. I just want to see where this is, what's happening here. Morphing like there's no more yellow left and plasma is like clear. Oh, excuse me. Ooh, names are getting lost. <laughs> and Nymphia is like clearly. Listen, one thing I have seen from Nymphia uh, that I'm enjoying is that now that everyone's sort of onto her schemes, her playfulness is amped up just a tad bit because Plasma explaining what is going to be probably a bottom three outfit to Nymphia. And Nymphia is just sitting there like, no reaction, never, not a good face. <laughs> She's like, what do you think of this? Isn't it so like, like a good look? Are you gonna be fine with this? And she's like, <laughs> didn't move, didn't move. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mind you, mind you, plasma. Uh, okay, girl, but it's like, <laughs> I would take her non responsiveness as a okay, maybe I need to rethink where I'm going with this design. Possibly, possibly. I enjoyed this. It was silly. <laughs> Nivy is a fool. <laughs> Ooh. So plain Jane picked up a bunch of tacky fabric and decided that maybe she needs to check the workroom and see if there is, n you know, some other fabrics that she could get a hold of. She stops over to Geneva, the same person who she was just trying to get fabric from earlier. To then criticize her and saying, this is such a weird way to ask for something. Like, girl, plain, you, you, you confuse me, bitch. Sister, hey, sister, can I borrow this fabric? Why would you, do, well, are you going to be able to make that outfit out of that? Are you sure? Here's plasma. Oh, here go. Here she goes, girl. Here she goes. Every, everyone, everyone in the room, clock in. Here goes Jane. Plasma is the annoying little brother. Yes, you are, sister. Yes, you are. You are the annoying little brother. I swear to God, you are the tattletale of the season. And not, I'm not saying that to be negative. I'm very much giving that is like her energy when it comes to plain Jane. You are not going to let that bitch do nothing no more. Uh-uh. Because in Untouched, you definitely said, I have time today for you, Jonathan. I have time. Everybody, everybody, look. I'm like, oh, my God, I can't do this today. But Geneva said, no, you cannot have this fabric. Mind you, that, <laughs> that fabric's going to be her downfall anyways. Hold on now. Isn't it crazy how Plasma interrupts a whole moment that was really meant to be Geneva and plain Jane? Jane still needs fabric to use because she doesn't have any that, that is cute. Because she clocks Plasma having a little trouble with her sewing machine, and she's one of those hyper-focused girls, she's over here like, hey, sister, can I borrow some of your fabric? You seem to have a lot of it. Yeah, sure. Now, not 5, 10, 15 minutes ago, here you are, Backing up Geneva in the, Jane's being shady, don't give her nothing. And then Jane comes over to you and you give her something. I also want to stress, this is a competition. When the comment that was made of, when I see someone using the same fabric, and I'm going to immediately go, ooh, let me make a different decision. Why are you giving her anything? You let that bitch work with what she's got. That lady has dragged your nose, that beak nostrils down the street plasmetha like are you hearing me plasman divines she has been dragging you y'all are friends where barbara pick it up you're stress icing me out that was not a good way to say streisand but i tried 
Bar Barbara Stressand. There we go. Give me the business. Come on, Plas. Plasmethus. <laughs> Plasmosis Jones. <laughs> Oh my God, I can't. Like, yes, like, come on, fly girl. I just, I don't understand it. She'd be in your, this, like, she might as well be milk talking to Magnolia Crawford. Is that your no? Like, for real? Yeah, Maddie, especially when she keeps coming for you, they are too nice. Like, what are you doing? This ain't gonna get you that Olay commercial. You don't look like you need uh, a lot of lotion, plasma. But go ahead. DW, thank you for the super chat. As they shared that fabric, I immediately thought, do they watch reality TV? No. No, Jane watches TV. Look at that giggle in her. Probably thinking to herself, what an idiot. Because all I have to do is just make my outfit look better than both plasma, excuse me, just plasma. Which, you know, Jane already has that confidence to feel that way. So I couldn't be me. Will Justice, Plain would not be my sister. Mistress one, <laughs> Plain would not be my sister. Mistress once said, you have to get my respect to be called my sister. And you know, it's interesting you say that because Mistress and Jane recently did a video together because sisters. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat, Will. <laughs> this is the mini challenge from season two, episode two. Uh, Fonsworth Bentley, thank you for the super chat. The season two, episode two, was the first one gone with the window? That had to be it. I don't remember episode two of season two. I have to go back. Thank you for the super chat. I remember specific episodes from season one and two because it's been so long. Like, I remember the episode on season one when Rebecca Glasscock put her hands around uh, Jade's throat and, and pushed her to the ground and somehow won the lip sync. I also remember when Rebecca Glasscock walked in with some starch jeans and a yellow top and a push and go wig. It got very far. I think that that got me. Uh, Bibi Zahar Benet was my sole focus that season, along with Tammy Brown's two episodes uh, and Chanel uh, basically almost quitting. They were my highlights. Uh, and Akasha. I did like Akasha. Season two, it was like everybody versus Tyra, and I was on Tyra's side the whole time. I was like, fuck these bitches. I was very much that the entire season. I love Jessica Wild. I Juju, it was, yeah, it was Juju B, Tyra, and then Raven came into my, I like her towards the middle of the season. And I like remember sporadic moments of season two, like the wedding uh, when they were on the main stage and everybody was calling Tyra a bitch and then she starts to get emotional. And then RuPaul was like, Tyra, that was so severe because she wins the challenge, right? But then she goes to the back and puts the veil over her face and RuPaul was like, that was so puss. <laughs> like I remember the following, RuPaul was like, when you did that, bitch, you don't even know how much you ate. Like I was like, oh. <laughs> like Tyra, that was... Very, very that. Um, God, what else from season two do I remember? Juju B being drunk as a skunk. Black velvature. <laughs> drunk as a skunk. <laughs> well, oh, Ta I did remember. Thank you. Thank you. I couldn't believe that she beat this mama in Snatch Game. That was a gag for me. But also when she had to lip sync and that dress kept coming up. I wonder why. She's the greatest dancer. <laughs> no, Juju B was fun the whole season for me. Raven, at first I was like, what's going on here? But then I started to like her because Raven was saying a lot of shit that I felt. Um, and Tyra was just, they couldn't break that bitch. But she was also annoying that day in the workroom. If she had been doing all that, uh, bitch, that would have pissed me off too. So I was on Tatiana's side that day. Like, all that was not necessary. And if you're going to clock over here, bitch, I'll clock the fuck right back. What's up? <laughs> that was when I agreed with them. That shit would have annoyed the fuck out of me. Like, what? Bitch, we're working on stuff. You doing all this? Mm -mm. I can't. Listen, if this ain't Vanessa and Rudy Huxtable, 
actually, no, I'm not. I would never do Saphir that way. Excuse me, Claire and Rudy Huxtable. I felt like I was watching the episode of The Cosby Show, but they changed the name because he was canceled while it was still on the air, i.e., the Connors. Boom. Uh, bitch just gave Rudy, what's wrong? Mom, I have an outfit I have to make for class today, and I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Now, Rudy, you know you're supposed to have this done, and we talked about this today. I've given you that sewing machine you said you wanted to sew, and now the school play is up. I know, Mom, but uh, you don't understand. It's really hard for a 12-year-old girl. Do, do, do. The music changes. Here comes Cliff. Hey, Rudy, what's wrong? I don't know. No, I'm not going to do this all. I'm not going to do this. I'm, excuse me. And by the way, I like Maya fucking Iman LePage. I, excuse me for swearing between that. I like her. Listen, I'm giving y'all jokes today. Tip, tip your boy. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. <laughs> Buy me a pizza tonight because I ain't going to game night. I got to stay at the house today. I'll be playing Tekken this evening by myself being a single father. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> Tell me I'm wrong. This is Claire and Rudy. Okay. <laughs> let me get a green screen and let me get like some sort of music with the uh the yes. I have the wigs. <gasps> I have the wigs. Cause I have five wigs right now. I used to have just two, now I have five. Ooh. Joyce, you about to get me out of my uh my little slump of not doing skits and edited stuff. You try to get me back up in there. Oh. <laughs> I told you not to wear that dress, Rudy. Oh my God, this is that episode. <gasps> this is that episode when Rudy wanted to wear that party dress and her mom was like, you're gonna get it dirty and I don't want you to wear it it's for special occasions. But mom. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I fucking love these two. Shauna, thank you for the super chat. Look at the day. Hi, Maddie, running late. Hello to you and the Ramp Pack. Love to the fur babies. Thank you so much for the love for the fur babies. They're certainly going to appreciate it today. Also, I have been, I, I am able to pick Mina up. And she lets me hold her for a lot longer than 0 0.5 seconds now. I have to hold her differently than Mamo. And then she's okay. I have to like pull her in like, like a baby and then she'll be fine. But if I have any sort of like room out here she's like put me down but like i it happened the other day three o'clock in the morning i'm like walking through the house because they wake me up and shit i'm like okay let me go use the bathroom and she was waiting at the door for me and then she starts meow 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 and so i pulled her up and i picked her up and took her in the bed with me because mama was already in the bed and she let me do it and it was cute and she was purring i was like oh she actually does like this she just needs time she's a very spicy torty she's a spicy girl also, I've given up on the patio. I let her out in the patio now. She likes to go on the patio. She doesn't leave the fence area. We're good. <laughs> so I'm like, okay. <laughs> I'm letting it go. I let it go now because clearly she's not going to leave. But it's very, I, she had to test my boundaries. I had to test hers. We had to establish some ground rules there. And Mama just stares out like, I never gave you any of this trouble. You did not, Mama. You did not. But your sister, that's another story. Um, yeah, I love her so much. She's a more she's a bigger talker than Mamu. <laughs> it's insane. Um, as they shared that fabric, I oh, DW, I swear to God. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Uh, okay, so again, love Safir for doing this, but I was also like, this doesn't look like it's gonna be a good thing. I think this is gonna be a bad thing. Can we give Tsunami some time? Because these pants. Ooh, those pants were everything. Remember why I told you I wanted to get a sewing machine and one of the first things I wanted to learn was how to do pants. This is a prime example of why I want to learn how to do pants. This is the kind of shit Pisa wants to do. I was like, ooh. <laughs> that was me. Oh, they fit. They're shaped. They're tailored. The top was a different story later, but I still thought her outfit was cute. But these pants are pee. I liked it. I did, I did, I did, I did. Nymphia still causing chaos in the workroom. 
the girls aren't buying it anymore. They know her tricks. This like Q is like the last one you want to do this with, baby. She was pressed that you got to win over her. I love how Nymphia's like, hi. Q's like, hey. And then Nymphia, ni hao. <laughs> Oh God, I, was, I tell you what. <laughs> oh, I've had a good cackle. Like <laughs> she said, um, look, girl, you know, we've already done this song and dance. This is this has been an ongoing theme of events and shit. And I don't think we want to do this anymore. So <laughs> <laughs> I did. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the episode. It was just kind of like Nymphia, go, go, go back to your seat, sweetie. They're not doing this no more with you. They, they literally have conversations about you fucking around, girl. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> all right, Don. I had a lot of hope for Geneva. We'll get to you in a second. Safira, in my opinion, it looked like she had everything going exactly the way it should have gone and she got in her head about making everything because she was also helping Maya and then I saw the pink dress I said oh no this must be going underneath this couldn't possibly be the dress because I saw all of that in the background I was just like okay it's it's not that we're gonna get some of the little print on there and then I was focused and concerned because then she said an opera coat and then she still had that whole entire like bolt of fat. Look at that entire bolt of blue fabric over there. I'm like, what's going on, Sophia? Let me tell you something about a Libra and overthinking. <laughs> I said, oh, Sophia is doing one of my numbers. <laughs> we have a lot that we can do and there's a lot that we want to do. But then like, it's now, how do we do all of this? And then you also want to be helpful to other people who are asking you for help. Like, oh, like my sister is in trouble. I, I want to assist her and da 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 Like, oh, I, I, I completely get that. I completely get that. But like, I'm over here confused. Hey, y'all, I had some tippy poos come in. And I didn't even get a notification on my phone. I apologize. Let me give you some love for real, for reals. Uh, much love from Poland, Stephanie. You know, I love you down, baby. You're one of my favorite people in the universe. I'm always happy to see you. And I'm glad that you're thriving and you're enjoying Poland. Hope your mom got back home safely too. And y'all had a great uh, visit together. I don't know if she moved in with you or not, but hey, Stephanie, how you doing, baby? And thank you so much for the love and your generosity. I appreciate you, my love. Appreciate you. D, what's up, my friend? Um, I wish I could give more. You already gave more. Don't do that, DW. You already did your annual tip this past week. You know I love you, friend. Also, are you do what are you doing tonight, friend? I'm not, we're not doing a game night. Did you want to come by? Let me know, friend. We can just order some pizza and do games tonight. Mo to the E to the it's Monica. I, I can't say E to the it should be Mo to the A to the woke up this morning. It's Mo. Monica, Monica. Ah, there it is. Thank you for the tippy poo. I'm actually going to get me a nice piece. Actually, I'm going to get a salad and protein. I just remembered. I had my, I, I, Matthew, we just had this issue. We're getting close back to the pre diabetes phase. We need to be good. That dough's going to be bad. I'm going to get a nice roasted chicken. In a big old salad. That's what I'm going to do. See, this is how I'm supposed to be thinking. <laughs> this is how I'm supposed to be thinking. <laughs> okay, come on back. Get your brain together. Get your brain back together. Whew, okay. I was like, man, I'm about to put myself in some trouble. <laughs> Gotta be careful. That dose got sugar. Okay, but listen, Safira got in her head, and I also think Plain Jane played a game with her a little bit, and Safira got wind of it, or I think other people may have been talking too. Yeah, so it is what it is. Listen, 
BBL light uh, and plain Jane had this light moment with their sisters. It was a cute back and forth. The workroom banter was fun. Getting to see these pe people, uh, ooh, some jerk chicken. That sounds good. Yeah, because I got to be better. I'm, I'm a little bit mad at myself for not doing what I was supposed to do. And I was already on the good path. Remember, I lost all that weight, too. So I'm like, come on. Like, you got to do better. <sighs> this, I just like the uh, banter in the workroom. It was a fun. It was light. It wasn't super shady. There weren't any, like, deep arguments that were happening here. It was a lot of, girl, what are you working on? Oh, okay. Megami, you were giving today. You were also low-key robbed of commentary, in my opinion. I'm going to be very real with you, Megami. You had one of my favorite looks of the night. Personally, I got the vibe. I thought it was brandable. That the doll was cute. I was like, well, so why are you not talking to her? Oh, well. But I thought that Megami was giving this week. It also found her workroom commentary to be fun and light. It feels like she's gotten comfortable. And I'm not looking at her like, does she look down on herself still? No, I don't have that opinion of her anymore right now, which I love that. And it concerns me because now we've gotten comfortable. Don't send this bitch home. I'm, I'm, I'm getting into the McGabs. I'm getting into the McGams. McGammies. You saw them thighs. That's what we should call her. <laughs> McGammies. <laughs> Come on, Gams. <laughs> I just, I want to hear, sometimes I just want different people to be on, you know, the judge's minds to talk to. So it feels like everyone's had commentary. I think there was one season in particular that that happened often where it was like, ooh, it's changing up every time. Miami's, there we go. <laughs> Sounds like Miami. We got to say gams, because I call them gams. <laughs> I got that from my mom, <laughs> some gams. <laughs> Okay, listen, I saw the red, then I saw the sheer cover with the blue. Ugh, I, I was like, please, God, please, God, no, please, God, no, run, run. Why do you think this is going to look good? It's not going to look good. It's going to look dated, ugly, and old. I hate to say ugly, but did you see what I saw? Like, look at this red, giving you all kinds of stretch velvet. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Then you see what she was going to overlay on top of it? No, ma'am. Absolutely tacky. Ooh. Did not like it. I was like, oh, no, sister, make a different decision. You can do it. <laughs> it's one of those, please make a different decision. You can do it. I promise you. Promise, promise. I'm not getting no notifications on my phone. Is my phone okay? You good phone? What's that phone? Let me take you off of Do Not Disturb. Maybe that'll help. I don't like that. Wow, nothing's coming in. Strange. <laughs> Why? 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 I almost wish she took the purple fabric. It's not like, you know, Plasma used a lot of it. I almost wish. I don't know if it would have been a better outfit. I wish she took the purple. Bitch, when she picked up that blue, I said, I know the lies you are telling me. I know this isn't happening on this good Sunday. The Listen, USSR already got some. What you talking about? What do you mean? Stupid, like dumb, dumb, dumb. And, and to me in this moment, I'm saying to myself, Geneva's just trying to make some. That's fine. I get it. We got to do something here because nothing was looking good. I'm getting nervous. You got to start over. When Q was going, you're done, you're done. That's from a standpoint of somebody who is a designer who has worked their way around like scheduling and making sure the time frame matches up with the ambition. And it's like, you want to make another dress right now with what you already just did. It's out, girl. You can go home. It's no shade. Three people with the same fabric, a hot chop. All the cat, listen, all my cash up stuff is just not covered in. Bloop, bloop, bloop. This is crazy. I'm sorry, y'all. 
I like I again I like Geneva. I do. I like Geneva a lot, but I'm like, girl, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> These decisions, it was a bad day for her. A bad day for the Harry Led Queen. Bad day. Mm -mm. I wouldn't take uh fabric from plasma either. Not saying she doesn't have taste. But if I look in the room and I see that Jane literally already has this full top part together with that fabric. Mm -mm. I still think this is super cute. Your mom packed the Dorothy shoes. That's adorable. Adorable. They have a conversation about them having dolls when they were younger or playing with dolls. And, you know, uh, Dawn was talking about having to hide doing, you know, that so that way they wouldn't be picked on. And this is where we get into Jane's storyline or sort of an explanation behind maybe some of the actions that she's had this season. A lot of people were feeling ways about this online. <laughs> Man, Twitter slash X, whatever you want to call it. Oh, oh, the girls will go again. <laughs> I said, how are y'all going to take away her story? But I also go, I see where everyone's coming from. Like, I see where everyone's coming from. I do. People are like, oh, we're, we're, we're take, we're going to, her parents were assholes. So I guess it's okay to be. And it was like, oh my God. And I was like, okay, so listen. I made the conversation, I, I, I had the point earlier about this when it comes to you sometimes take things that you're familiar with and it's embedded into you to an extent to where it's very hard for you to remove said things, okay? Especially when you've had a background where you're always consistently being like, are you gay? Or uh, what are you doing? Or butch up or da 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 da. I could understand that from living in a black household in a Seventh day Adventist black household at that. Like, it was a lot to take in. Okay. For me as a viewer, this is where I go now, why y'all do this so early? This is a little too soon for this edit. I can't help that she had the conversation with Tsunami, and neither of us can have that. But like, it felt very, okay, I see what you're doing here. And that's the problem, okay? Never said it wasn't relatable. Totally, re I can understand the story. I get it. The problem is it's how they did what they did. And I want those who are defending Plain in the live chats to know right now, I am not knocking her down. Jade and I follow each other on Instagram. I am not criticizing her for her background and how she was raised. I'm talking about how this was done. So you maybe can understand why people are feeling a ways. Like we had a full ass asshole. Forgive me, Jay, but you know what I'm talking about. A Russian hole at that, okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like a whole pit for like, what, five episodes straight? Four episodes? Like, no kind of breathing room for any sort of humanity or humility at all. And then the following episode just so happens after Amanda leaves. We get this, this is kind of how my life is and where it comes from moment. I can understand this. I receive your story. I get it. I'm not going to knock you down. I know what it's like to have a hard household. Totally get that. I'm looking at production though, and I'm going, this is a good conversation and I appreciate us having it. I'm almost like, damn, I wish this was like a few days or maybe another challenge or two later. So where this doesn't feel so force fed to me after being told I'm in my congenial era, this is why I may be perceived this way, et cetera, et cetera. I do believe she did receive what Safira had said because Safira wasn't lying. She gave her some real fucking tea. It was like, girl, you gotta work on that. And so Jane could be having this moment right now in real time. So that's my Libra's kicking in. The balance is there. I see y'all who are like, fuck this. And I see the rest of you are like, I received the situation. It's just for me, the way the storyline was set up, it's so quick. 
bitch, 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 I'm a bitch, bitch, love me. I had a really hard time in my life. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, like. Shadow Shy, when Amanda, when Jade said no Phyllis here, I was listening like, what? Because Amanda isn't there? I mean, like, yeah. Like, again, it is what it is. I see Jane shadiness. That's, I, I play with people like that. There are some folks in my life, like, even with the panel, like, we're going to throw, like, jabs and stuff like that with each other and make jokes and do that. But you do it with people you're familiar with, right? And we do sometimes like to cut because, again, we can do that as friends. Like I had to get over my ass being sensitive sometimes in those cases because I recognize these people actually love me. They're not trying to harm me. It's that's our way of being truthful in showing love and then also receiving each other, right? But there was no establishing of that with Jane with certain cast members, and it just came off too direct. And so when Amanda left and there was no resolution in that situation, it leaves us like Jane got her way and Amanda didn't. And then the following episode, I'm really nice, you guys. So I, I'm not, I, I don't mind this. I, I can receive Jane's story. I'm glad Jane is opening up. I said this was going to happen because that's how you play this role. You do it very well. Um, but I can see both sides of this argument and, and to wrap that all up in a nice little bow. You know, I see it. But I'm here for Jane opening up a little bit more. I think she has... I'd hate to say this, more respect for the, the majority of the people in the room. And I think that she already knew in her brain that a certain somebody was going to be leaving this episode. So she was probably feeling very special and happy. Yeah, like we don't know her. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Maddie would make a great story for you. I, again, what is wrong with me? Why am I not applying for those kind of positions? The, sh the thing I just got a phone call for was for a reality TV show. But uh, I would love to do shit like this. I would love to get on a reality TV show, either working in you know the background or possibly as one of the castmates. But if I'm in the background, bitch, I, honey, we're, we're, oh, hmm. let me sit in the back room with all that footage. We are creating television. Okay, we are going to create TV. Highs, lows, the mids. I don't want anybody to be bored When if, if I ever had the opportunity to work on a TV show. You would not be bored. Like, there's going to be something going on. Every episode. There ain't going to be no fillers. I don't believe in that shit. I think there's always material in, uh, you know, material in the film that can be used for something. And that's why when they have these, oh, well, here is the footage we didn't show you. Bitch, we low-key could have made a whole episode out of that. <laughs> we could have made a whole episode out of it. What do you mean? <laughs> Anywho, moving forward here. Um, I could have worked with that company, Jadavian, but they didn't want nothing to do with me. You remember, they came from my coin, Okay. Apparently, I was taking money out of, uh, you know, Biggie, Rollies, the rest of all them people's mouths. I was taking money out of their mouths, apparently, with my little channel. Girl, I, I still will never forgive them for that. I'm sorry. I, I'll never, never, ever. I better, I have not gotten an apology from those people. When I get one, then we can talk about forgiveness. Right now, they can go fuck off. I had to show this picture because Megami's makeup in pre-bake is so good. Like the eyes is really good. I have to study her too. I like how she does her makeup. But we get to learn a little bit about Q. This is how I knew Q was winning this episode. Story time, story time, story time. Q tells us a little bit about their background. We learned that Q didn't have a lot of money growing up. Her mom was single with three babies and was trying to make it happen. And, you know, Q had to go without lunch a couple of days. Q, I relate. I relate when my parents were going through it and my dad stopped showing up for a little bit of time. I'm telling you, uh, prosy rosy. Yeah. I'm currently working on my brows as we speak. I'm getting my makeup together, but yes, there is, I have all the materials currently at the house as we speak right now. I'm just trying to get a face ready for my first video of, for me getting my face together. Cause whatever video that's going to be, I don't want to look like, no shade. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm, I've been working on that in the backdrop, trying to get it done before my birthday. Backdrop, background. Um, and I wanted to do a video where I'm like, okay, y'all, I finally did my face. Let's go. 
Yeah, I'm serious. I want to, I like to compete. I'm, I'm very competitive to a fault. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I feel like I need to like do get into this arena, but anywho, um, I've, I've gone without lunch before at school. My parents were going through it. And my mom was sad. My dad wasn't showing up at the house sometimes. And, you know, I'd have to make it happen. I'd go to school and I'd have like $2 in my fucking pocket. Bitch, I'd buy a bag of chips and get like a soda and call the day. I still would have track practice. Like we were going through a lot. Like my dad had some people fuck over his company and they stole money from us. And we lost everything and had to go live in a hotel for like a year. And my, it was like around the time of my birthday, it was just, it was really fucked up. And I just remember going to school and just being like, 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 do not let no one know what's going on. Cause, cause let's be real people, children in school are evil. No shade to you young babies that may be watching this. Y'all motherfuckers are crazy. You say the dumbest shit and you say it out the side of your ass and you wouldn't know a dollar if it hit like, like on a real note, like. When you start working in high school, that's when you start to appreciate things a lot better. Because I had my first job at like 16, 17, actually 17. And I worked for Express. It was my, I had my first job with the mom. And that was when my life changed. Because I was like, okay, I'm making money and I can pay for it. I was hoping my mom paid bills. A lot of y'all don't know this because people think I'm some uppity light-skinned little bastard. No, I was hoping my mom paid bills at one point in time when I was in high school. And even before my older brother, I had a job. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because I also was gay and I had to get out the house when I could get out the house and live my life. And if I didn't have no money, I couldn't sneak out and go to the clubs. And I couldn't be with those people who were making me feel like I wanted to feel because I would be around folks who are like, gay is bad and fat, you know, all that kind of word. Ooh, I almost said it. <laughs> and all those words. And I get around other gay folks. I'm like, oh my God, this is, these are my people. Oh, especially when I got around folks that look like me, bitch. It was on. And my life was about getting out of school and so I could be myself because I lived in a homophobic family and I, I I hated going to school every day. That's why I won't go to any high school reunion. They don't know, a lot of them are a part of my trauma. The shit people would say around me, the stuff that was said to me, the things I found out later, man, I I can forgive, I will not forget. It's it's hard. I, I survived high school. I don't say made it through. And Soulful Dog, you know what high school I went to? We were on CNN. At one point in time, because the fighting was so bad, they had helicopter crews literally overhead on my campus. Like, people were evacuating the building, okay? Like, baby, my whistle ain't no joke, okay? <laughs> I don't know how it is today, but baby, over there by Babel, bitch, please. Um, and so I had people threatening me every day at school and shit. I had to fight often. You know, it ain't nothing like someone calling you a slur and then spitting in your face and then you having to defend yourself while people are also wishing you would get your ass beat. And then when you win, going, oh, you should, you, you, I guess you what's up, but then calling the other person a, because they lost. It's too much. And so for me, when I hear stories like what Q's going through, I go, you know what? Anybody that can make it through, I, I you have got nothing but my respect especially when you're queer in high school or just being yourself. Cause that, that's one thing about high school. Ain't nobody really themselves and they never know until they get out. They all think they have everything together. We, we all know who we are. No, you don't. You don't know a goddamn thing. Bitch, I'm 37. Girl, please let me talk to me at 18 right now. I'd have things to say. You were wrong. You were wrong. You were wrong. <laughs> that would be me. You were wrong about this. You were wrong about that. Get out your head here. Focus up. Like it, it's, you just do not know. So if you are young and you are watching this video right now and you, are, you haven't had shit figured out, guess what? You're not going to, and that's okay. You're not going to stop putting so much pressure on yourselves. You're not going to know what's going on. Get, get into your twenties, bitch. Then have this conversation with me. Get to 25. You should already be going somewhere or at least thinking about that. If you're in your 30s and you didn't do that, that's fine too. It's never too late. It's never too late to get on the path. But it's at one point you have to just stop telling yourself that I'm this is all everyone else's fault. Well, it's not. It's you. <laughs> so how am I gonna protect my peace? Not putting myself in positions to where people can destroy that. Okay. <laughs> I, man, we used to hang out back in the day. Back then, we don't hang out now. You want to know why? Because we're not the same people we were 
back then. And there are a lot of folks that I know who I love. I love them to death, but I have to love them from the time that we had, not the time that they can come into. Now. You can't come into this world now. I love you from afar. I'm, I'm giving you excellent advice. I'm telling you, <laughs> like, not everybody's going to be in your seasons. You have seen that happen on this channel. I still love that person regardless of how they feel about me. And I'm sure it may work the same, whatever way that we know about love. But maybe now is not the time. Don't, you can't come over here anymore. I can't go over there anymore either. That street works both ways. Anywho, shout out to Q, though. I see through their struggle they found their talent and they've also found their inspiration for their life right now and that's very important to have like i always tell people you don't have to believe in god i wish you would because i'm a christian but i'm also like you need to have faith in something yourself would be a big thing because like they say if you can't love yourself that's true but like if you don't believe in god at least believe in you at least have faith in what you're doing every day. At least get up in the morning and go, well, you know what? I can make that happen. And if you can't, try to find a way to or find something else new to do. Can, can I tell you I had a great therapy session on Thursday? <laughs> I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm, I'm therapy dumping on you right now. My apologies. <laughs> I'm like, oh, damn, Maddie, hold on. We, that was a, break it up. That was Thursday. <laughs> but I'm telling you, this is the stuff I talk about with my therapist and, and honestly, the conversations that we have uh, about growth and, you know, recognizing the mirror in front of you and, and seeing, like, your own shit. And sometimes you just accepting it. Mm -mm. Got to work on it. Listen, Nymphia being in the bitch corner is kind of funny, but we need to get into these looks for Drag Race. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Maddie Rance, and I'm a talker, and I talk about Drag Race, and I incorporate stories of my own as well as other things, too. It may not be your cup of tea, but it is for others, so do me a favor and not spoil the fun for everybody. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe, and become part of this Rant Pack family. And if you want to drop a tip in my jar, PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo are available for your consumption. It's not necessary, but certainly appreciated, but the thumbs up button is. To the judges. Oh, and before I go further, this program is for entertainment purposes only and contents not intended to align any religion, race, company, individual, gender, or wigs. And all opinions are supposed to matter program participants or other personal views and do not reflect the opinions of human being on the planet. No hate should be sent to any of the individuals mentioned on this program or shows. So please don't be rude, gross, or weird. And grab your libations and strap in because Maddie is a talker and he may be here for a while. So please, no spoilers in the chat. Feel comfortable reviewing this program. Consume some activity and have yourself a good poot. But yes. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. 400 plus here, that means a lot to me. And I thank you for tuning in today. Whether you're tuning into the panel, whether you're tuning into this live, UK versus the world on Monday, Tech and Tuesdays, whatever, it means a lot to me. I love what I do and I love talking to y'all every day I can. So <laughs> there we go. To RuPaul's look and the judges themselves, this photo eats. I, I don't care. I'm sorry. This photo eats. It eats. It eats. Fonsworth. Plain Jane. New name is Midflight. Shut up. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> that's dumb. Shut up, Fonsworth. But that's funny. Thanks for the super chat. Uh, Donna. My favorite fine single father. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I look rough today. I needed to give myself a haircut. I didn't have enough time to, but I will after this video. So for the panel, I'll... I'll have given myself a haircut by them. You may have already mentioned it. Oh, yes. Uh, but I just got here. The season is so the office parks rec Abbott Elementary with the fourth wall look. And I'm kind of here for it. It is, Donna. And I'm okay with the contestants also breaking it in production, not thinking that we're idiots and letting them have fun because it brings us in a bit. So thank you so much for that super chat, Donna. I appreciate the love. Thank you. No, I do. I do. In in, I feel like I'm about to sound like K uh, Katie Herod from uh, Mean Girls. In girl world, well, in gay world, I look scruffy. <laughs> Bottom gay world, hideous. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, I think Rue is eating in this dress. I love it when the games show and I love the structure of the gown. I'm kind of shocked she's wearing green. I'm like, Michelle, are you okay? Um, 
Michelle looks nice. It's decent. It's not overstated. It's a simple black dress. You know, that kind of moment. Hair pulled back. It's cute. Tia Smasson looks good. Legs and hips and titties, titties. Let's get them, girls. Go ahead, Tia Smasson. And Law, the suit is everything. The hair laid. Mug, wuggy. Shoes, right. Law looks good. I like this panel. I want this to be the main panel. Mm-hmm. I do. I want it to be the main panel. Oh, I hope I get my wish. I'm just kidding. But uh, should this challenge be a staple on the seasons for the doll making a uh, challenge? Uh, 79% of you said yes. 20% said no. I have 332 votes. Hey, RuPaul's Drag Race, Wild Presents. If you're watching this, I know you are. I get free advice all the time. Can you pay me for it? Please. <laughs> but take it. It's good advice. <laughs> I do want this to be the panel permanently honestly no shade to ross and carson my favorite distressed leather handbags i i'm perfectly fine with that law added something for me that felt familiar and fresh and a lot of the folks that were like well we didn't like how jeffrey boyer chapman was coming at the girls well jeffrey boyer chapman's not a stylist okay that's why we're not giving him this much energy. It also isn't a series of several episodes, so we don't have that much to work on. A lot of the girls don't remember Law from America's Next Top Model. I do, but I more so preferred him on Legendary, which it's very interesting to see people say that Law was very harsh for his Danny DeVito comment, which lets me know you need to stay the fuck away from ballroom culture if that was too much for you. Stay away from it. You already vulture off of it. Stay away from it if that was too much. That man came in and gave them a pillow with a silk cover. Okay? Put a bonnet on their head. Put some lavender oils on the sheet and laid them down. You stay the fuck away from ballroom culture if that was too much for you. Because he gave them nothing of the sorts today. He was kind and gentle read her down and it wasn't even deep like he has said much worse like uh-uh much worse but what folks aren't understanding about law is that law has respect for rupaul another black queer individual in the media entertainment industry who has literally built up an empire for themselves like how i have respect for rupaul i'm in that same category with law i have so much respect for this man bitch what respect and so law came there and said i can't do what maybe i would want to do somewhere else i'm gonna still be me and i'm gonna give what needs to be given but uh, yeah, the Danny DeVito joke was funny. That was funny. Anybody that fell into the ways about that, I'm looking at you strange. Girl, you want to, how come you gatekeeping ballroom? Sure am after all that shit I read the other day, people getting mad at this man for making a conversation about that. He was, it was a joke and Geneva received it. Wasn't that deep? Ridiculous. Couldn't believe it. I was like, what, 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 what? <laughs> like, I know I'm not, I did, I, I'm not reading these comments. It was so unnecessary. The body shaming in 2024, how dare you? One eight hundred lover boy. I was watching with one of my straight boys, and one of them said, "Well, he's never getting back, getting invited back, ba babe. That's Law Roach. That's why he was invited." <laughs> right? Literally, they brought him there to read because I'm not about to sit here and listen to Carson's opinion on an outfit not be a joke. You know what I mean? Because Carson will tell you, you he doesn't get to read the looks, and he's in stylist or whatever, right? But Carson's joking more about all of a sudden he's like, "The outfit didn't give me what I needed." My hole is loose. What? What did I say? I I wanted to be about the anywho. Let me let me get off of that opinion. Let me get off of that opinion. I think that law gave what needed to be given, and it was entertaining, and I enjoyed it. And that is that. 
And I would like Law to be on the panel. And I wish they would go a little bit harder sometimes on set looks. Tia's mask and looking good, always with that good. She looks good with the blue hair. Baby hairs are laid down. I had to show a different shot of this picture. If you look here, the lighting was catching her eyes in that, uh, I believe she has a couple of glitter uh, stones put into the eye line right here, bitch. I mean, that light was hitting it. It was so good. I was like, okay, there it is. I was like, ooh. And La wrote, baby, go ahead, P. La, go ahead. La was giving. Here's the thing. I feel like a lot of folks also didn't go into Untucked with Law. Maybe some people just watch the episode and don't watch Untucked. When he went backstage and had the conversation with those girls, that felt very genuine and real. And he also talked about his respect for RuPaul, but then he even answered some questions when people were like, tell me about my look because I was safe. Like, give me the feels. I think that's when Safira knew, like she already knew she shouldn't have drank that immunity potion. But when he said what he said to her back there, I know, I know, Safira, you were like, fuck. <laughs> Fuck! I would have been fine. I'd have been fine. He thought I was everything. They thought I was giving, but they were they were stone cold when she was walking. I did notice that. <laughs> I noticed that, Safira. You were you didn't make that part up. They weren't giving you any sort of interaction with your outfit. So yes, I would have also felt some kind of way. All right, everybody, it's time for you to decide, and you get to be involved in the decision making of how we rate the looks. I want you to include the doll itself with how the queen looks with how we rate this. Of course, you know, giving is the best. If you find this to be everything, we say giving. If it's okay, if it's something where you're like, we could change this, we could change this, but it's not bad. We say she's cute. And if it's just, uh, it's a chop. It's a chop. Mm -hmm. So up first is Tsunami Muse. I want you to think about stories too, y'all. Is it giving? Is she cute? Or is it a job? What do you say? What do you say? I'm going to start this poll up. I'm also going to take myself off camera real quick for other reasons. Uh, but listen, Fashion Week edition. I want to say Barbie so bad. <laughs> Tsunami News in the Fashion Week edition doll. I think this is a very cute way to do Ariel. Because this to me read as Ariel and very much the new Ariel under the sea, the Haley Bailey, uh, uh, not Haley Bailey. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Matthew, but that version. It, it gave me that. I prefer the pants to the top. I think the doll is eating her up a tad bit. I think the pants, though, are giving. I love the gloves and the sleeves. I like the color story that's go going on here. Uh, I think her mug is wugging, but, like, it was cute. It'd be something if I saw on a mannequin, I'd be like, oh, that'd be cute on somebody. Like, this does look like sellable, wearable clothes. I like that. Hey, Jaylee, how you doing, um, Sweet Pea? Hey, y'all, give some love to Jaylee's Corner, another fellow YouTuber of mine. How are you doing, friend? It was giving in a simple way. It was Fashion Week in Compton or maybe Miami. Well, we'll get to uh, BBL Light Queen soon. Because when I think of uh, Morphine and the girls are like BBL, I'm like, not the OLED, sweetie. That's a light. It is not able to attach itself to the TV. We are not getting a clear picture. Hold on a second, y'all. I wanted to get something here. Oh, what fell? Oh, my God! Oh, my PlayStation remote. Lord Jesus. Those are too expensive for them to fall. Hold on, y'all. I can't. Uh, cake and candy. I just, I, I can't get into that song, man. We were blessed last week with the runway music. I just cannot. And then now that UK versus the world is on, I'm even more pissed off because they're playing the music, girl. 
It's how I want to hold you. Dun, 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 Ooh, I done hold you. Ooh, it's how I hold you. Ooh, I got to show you. It's how I want to hold you. Come on now. Come on. Like, <sighs> let me not do that to Rue. I'm just saying. <laughs> James, don't do that. <laughs> I think it's cute. For me, it's she's cute. I like elements of this. The pants are the selling point for me. I'd buy those pants in every color. I think the color story is there. I know the vision. It gives me what I need. I receive. I just, it's, I wouldn't say give it, but I do like it though. I would definitely um, invest in this company. I would like to see more clothes. I thought you dropped your libation. Not yet. Not yet. No, I dropped the remote. I need it to work tonight because I want to play some Tekken. Oh, speaking of which, whoever plays Tekken, let me know because I'll be on tonight. I'm not going out tonight, so I'll be at the house with the babies. Let me know. We can get a room together. Ooh, that'd be so much fun. We won't have to be on. Uh, we don't have to stream it, but we could watch. It'd be fun. Yeah, I think it's she's cute. Where are we giving this? Let's go ahead and close the votes up. 165 if you voted here. Yes, uh, my UK versus the world review will be out Monday, Monday. Uh, if you're overseas, just let me know. I was, I'm trying to figure out the time frame. I'm thinking 2.30 Central Standard Time, my time on Monday is when I'll do the review. Um, and then I I'm going to do the first review solo. And then I think I'm going to have a special guest. I'm, I think I already alluded to it on my Patreon group, but uh, I'll have a special guest for the second episode. I just want to make sure I get my times right for people. Oh, yeah. That will be Monday for UK versus the world. Okay, back to Tsunami. Tsunami's gorgeous. I love this lip color, too. It's gorge. So we gave it 73% said she's cute, 14% said giving, and 12% of us chopped it. Tsunami news. Now, Safira Cristal's doll, the Grand Dame Diva, Metropolitan Opera Edition. <laughs> I'm so mad at Safira for using that potion. I was, I like this to be honest with you. And I liked how she sold it. That was one of my selling points with the garment. She sold it through how she presented it. I think the opera coat comment was funny too. The uh, opera coat. I don't think we'll let this time. <laughs> it was like really quick. I was like, okay, okay. That was funny. Very cute. I was shocked. I was like, girl, it's not that deep. The doll is interesting. But then when I saw it like all together like this, I was like, okay, well, this is still, I don't know whose doll that is. It's like that one wax figure of Beyonce that sits in that museum. It's like a whole white woman. It's like, no, baby, I don't know who that is. <laughs> No, no, not it's Safira and Garcelle. <laughs> no, I wouldn't say that because, you know, the styling here is on point. No shade to Garcelle. We do need a little bit more work for her. That's my bitch. I love her, but mm -mm. sometimes on the show it's not. I liked it though. That was nice. But go and watch this back though. Watch it back. They did have stone faces when she was walking. Nobody was reacting until she made that one joke. And I was like, okay. So I think I, I understand why she did it, but she, look around you. And I love how someone said that. They were like, look around you, girl. Like you would have been fine. <laughs> I think she also sold it very well. The doll was cute. Uh, it was nice. I liked it. I'm not going to say giving. It needed the coat. I think the coat would have been done done. If she had the coat with it, yes, God. Uh, but the dress by itself was pretty enough to where I'm like, oh, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have thought bottom. She did. She let plain Jane get to her. And you just had the conversation, Safira, that your Libra scales tipped and you overthought this. You said, okay, well, I'm, listen, I might just have to, oh, okay, I'm just going to present this girl. I'm going to overthink this. I'm going to overthink all of this. I'm overthinking it. And that's what you did. And then you realize, shit, I was good to go. They already like me. Fuck. It is a pretty dress. I like the dress, to be honest with you. I noticed that she didn't have that pink underneath. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, let's go ahead and wrap up the voting here.
We got 65% for She Cute, 22% are giving this, and 11% have chopped this look. Safira, I liked it. We could have had a little bit more if you had more time. I think the overthinking got to you, and that's where it was at. But honestly, this was nice. It was lovely. All right, here we go. Plasmanda Bynes is next. Plasmosis Jones. Oh, Plasma. Lucille Ball in a funhouse mirror. We're going to have to ask the question of, is she cute? Is she given? Or is it a job? You know, the doll is cute. I like her doll. The doll is adorable. Can we be honest? I don't think there was anything really wrong with this dress. I think it was the presentation that was killing her. If I'm going to be very real. I don't think there was anything wrong with the dress. I think it was her presentation. To me, it's she's cute. And I'm not saying it's a chop. It's she's cute. It was the presentation for me with her being focused because it kept falling off and she kept holding it back up. And then we could see it was bothering her. That, in my opinion, is what would the issue was with this outfit. It is also something I have seen before. I don't understand why the outer trim on the scarf isn't in the front part of the hair. It's on the back part for me. And I was like, mm, I don't know if this is really working here because that's heavier than the fabric. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because the embroidery on it is heavy. So that's why it's falling because it's not forward. And that, that probably would have latched on to a couple of strands and would have sat up there since you didn't have the bobby pin. So for me, I'm okay with it. It's like, ah, this is fine. But I just kept staring at that. Well, the walk was throwing me off and the headpiece coming off. So I was like, eh. Yeah, her walk is, oof. It's not as bad as, you know, what we've seen, but she walks kind of hard. Plasma be walking like she's about to stop a hole in the ground. Like she's about to go tell somebody that the music across the street is too loud and I'm calling the police. Like, you know, the hip, like, you know how she, when you throw a little hip, when you're walking because you want to give a little sensuality, hers are like sharp remarks. <laughs> sharp remarks. Shut up, Matthew. Sharp remarks. Like, I'm going to put it in the live chat, the symbols I'm using here. I can't think of the name of them. But when she walks, it it looks like this for me. Her her bodice, the booty, it, it, it like goes out that kind of way. Like, it's, it's so sharp. It's like, I, it's a lot. It's a lot for her, you know, and she, and she does older drag. So I'm, I'm watching her give so much emphasis in a hip when she dresses like that hip wouldn't give any more emphases. Oh. But I like, I, this is okay. This is a, she's cute for me. Presentation was a chop though. That's why I was like, eh. And her what? Woo, girl! It's not as bad as Gothy Ken dolls. My God in heaven! And I like Gothy. I was happy for her this uh, week. But I, yo, when we get to UK versus World on Monday, if you are a fan of Miss Baby, I'm gonna talk about that walk. That little girl, woo, woo. Miss Thing. <laughs> I swear to God, she walked like she's attached to a hospital bed. My baby, what is happening here? Like she got the, she got like liquid dripping into her or something. Woo. <laughs> oh my God. I said the teeth are done, but that walk is. <gasps> All right, let's move forward here. I'm starting to talk about another show. <laughs> Let me move forward. I'm starting to talk about the wrong show. I can't. I I'm so ready. Rubber Ducky, did you see how I was looking at her when she was walking? I said, what is this? <laughs> I 
I was like, her knees are so close together. Does she want to move? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> Poor thing. I'm like, that's why she's a DJ. She sits behind the booth, girl. She is not. <laughs> oh, God bless her. God bless her. Okay, listen. Beak to cheek plasma. 52% of you said she cute. 46 of you, 46% of you chopped it, and 1% are giving this look. 173 votes. Woo! Y'all don't want any uh, injections, no infusions today, none. Mm mm. Mm mm. Plain Jane, whose doll is this? I want to know whose doll is this, girl. Your forehead that big, bitch. The way this hairline set up, I thought that was Nina Hulu in some random outfit that she was never supposed to be in, because. We would never see it, but look at how far back that hairline is. I thought she won Dragula this season. My God, it's 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 beyond the back. Who knew? Who knew? USSR, you okay, bitch? I uh uh nope. <laughs> let's go ahead and talk about uh Planet Jonathan. Let's let's get into there. Hold on. I actually have nice things to say about this outfit, to be real with you. But I was like, Jesus, shit. Okay, D don't that doll look soulless or possessed? It's giving the boy. For those of you who have seen that horror movie, remember the boy? <laughs> this is this is the the, the girl. <laughs> plain Jane is living in. The, spoiler alert! Plain Jane is living in the walls, y'all, and her parents. <laughs> <laughs> it does it just I swear to god if you've seen that movie you know it looks just like it oh man how I go from Neo Hoodoo's hairline to fucking uh the boy I <laughs> was wrong with me <laughs> Oh, I love y'all. Y'all are funny. I can't. Okay, so listen. Listen. <laughs> You've been very naughty, Mrs. Fagel. <laughs> it feels like I'm going to see this doll. Hey, Phil, how's it hanging? <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, so this is a whore doll, by the way, in case you didn't, a, a, a doll, sir. The whore, whore dog, because it's plain Jane goes aquatic whore. <laughs> That's you know why she wants to go visit the snorks. You know why. Mm. Oh, that's gross. I can't. Come on, Killer Frost, boo. <laughs> Oh, no, no, let me let me clock it in. Thank you, Donna, for clocking those references. I gave two, <laughs> and there were two kills. Yeah, I actually thought this out of the blue looks was the best of the blue. Jane, no shade. I don't know if they needed to talk to you today. I think her story was very plain Jane as far as branding goes. She hit those remarks perfectly. I was like, that's just very good. It's cute. It almost felt like they had you up there so they could compare Geneva and Plasma's dresses to yours. Ooh, not me figuring that out. Because I would replace Nymphia with you, no shade. Not, not to be rude about it. I honestly feel like they kept you up there just so they could have a conversation with Plasma to validate why she's low, but not going home. And then why Geneva would definitely need to be sent home. It's almost like, look, and it kept going back to you. Look at what she did. If I, had, what Law said, if I knew a girl had that fabric and was giving this bitch. It... Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Oh yeah, Megami deserved conversations too today. Because her doll actually was, like it was a legit doll with a storyline that made sense. I think that coffee cup that she held up awkwardly uh, wrecked her over. I agree with Trixie and uh, Crystal on that today. Because I was like, why are you holding? I get it's the doll. And it's not going to move, but it was. <laughs> <laughs> I 
But to Jade, you know, this was, it's fine. It's, the hair looks good with her. The doll matches. They look close in similarity, except one's, you know, masculine face and the other one's a little bit feminine, you know? But I still think that this was a well done outfit for what it's worth and for her changing up what she was going to do. So I'm going to say she's cute. It's cute. I can see her performing in this. Jane Blue. Oh, there it is. Yep. Jane Blue. I, I saw the Southwest Jane, Joyce. I got Jane Blue. Yeah, because the outfit too, it just, it's Jane Blue. We got we to go with things. <laughs> we got to go with things. Please, please. But yes, I think this is, uh, it is. I'm like, okay, work. Work. Uh, somebody who I wanted to have a conversation about today. I am, excuse me. Nymphia Wynn is the Spring Banana Yellow Carpet Edition. I want to say Barbie every time I finish that. Uh, Plain Jane, she's cute. 41%, 29% are giving. 19% are bad. Iggy Azalea talk. And 8% of you chopped it. Now on to the Nymphias that is wind. Let me get the poll up first before we start this conversation. I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you. <laughs> I was like, oh, I know she's not safe, safe. What? <laughs> yes, that other option was how Iggy Azalea raps. She's like pulling out the bet. She's getting, you know, her, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. Ooh, I wish I could talk like I used to talk years ago. Because whenever she says Iggy Iggs, I just, for me, I assume she adds an end to the front of it. And that's what she really, would. I'm just playing. I'm I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Oh, it's always about race. Welcome to my channel. He keeps bringing up his black ass. I'm just kidding. All right, next up. All right, moving on, moving on. Nymphia win. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. I just thought of three different songs where that last statement I could have made, I can actually apply to, and it's pretty funny. Damn. I can think of like a good couple of songs where I could literally just flip one letter in a word for her and it would just change her entire direct trajectory of the industry. <laughs> I mean, T.I. is the one that taught her how to rap, so I blame him. Um, he didn't teach her how to rap. I was there for the olden days of uh, Iggy Azalea when she was still living in Australia and that one song came out on YouTube before they started being released. I forget, was it called Poop? Boom, boom. I forget, you know, what song I'm talking about. Boom, boom, boom. I forget that name. That song was fire. Okay, so some of y'all don't even know who Sean is. And be thankful. And be thankful. This was sickening. I okay, can I be honest with you? I think okay, 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 okay. I like the pink bow better. I'm gonna just be the one to say it. I like the pink bow better. I like the darker wig on the doll. I feel like there could have been like a swap of things like whoop. I like the pink bow because it's not just all yellow and it switches it up. And yes, this is the wig that Amanda left for Nymphia. So, you know, one of Amanda's wigs was safe. Amanda was technically safe this week via DNA left through said skin cells on the wig cap. I personally love this. I did. Where I knew she wasn't going to be in the top for me 
was the story was what and then the dolls the doll looks different than how she does like a lot different where it's a different color bow different color wig there's a different color like little piece in the hair you know what i mean so that's why i was like mm, that's probably why they're not talking to her because her branding her you know lines for her, her spoken word i don't know i don't need to put this but her selling of the doll it was like uh I don't really care for that. <laughs> and but when I looked at the just the dress itself, I'm like, oh, stunning, gorgeous, sick big. I love it. 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 So yeah, maybe that's why. To me, I'm this is in the giving category. I lived. I lived. I I loved it from head to toe. I thought mama was sickening. I was like, oh, gimme, 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 gimme. I just thought, mm, story's not gonna work for her. And Maybe they're going to be like, there's too many differences here and there for that. Um, but I think that nymphy looks gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this pink bow. Oh, I'm so, like, how, oh my God, come on, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in to this. These shots were fire. Fire. Oh, shout out to production for the lighting in this shot right here. Oh. Ooh, it looks good with the shadow. It does. That pink looks a little richer and darker. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't care. I love it. 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 <laughs> like, I don't even need to see the doll. I just love this. I love it. Wow. Very that. Yeah, because she came out there and said banana, 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 yellow. And it was like, okay. It's not going to work. Not going to work. But so cute. So cute. So cute. So, oh, just, oh. Yes, Nymphia, you are that girl. Don't let nobody tell you different. Mm -hmm. That bitch. Oh, goodness, Cam Hawk gracious. 65% of you are giving this. 31% of you are saying she's cute. And 2% are chopping this look. I'm going to get Jason's Deli today. A giant Caesar salad. No, I'm actually going to see if there's like a smokehouse with like a smoked chicken I can get with like greens in a salad, more veggies, whole, no bread, no bread today. No bread. I can still enjoy it and I can't have any sugar. So no juice, just water. I should have bought lemons at the grocery store. Damn. Next time I go. All right. Potatoes have starch that has like a certain kind of sugar that's also bad too. I have to stay away from potatoes. Their baked potatoes are really good though. Um, I don't like the doll. <laughs> oh, let me get the poll up. I, I have called this lady Larsa for the longest time. And this is the, this, this that's, that's Larsa girl. That's, that's what Gertie should have made her look like after she had uh, spilled her cancer story. Hmm. Anywho, <laughs> I'm playing. Actually, that she looks like how, um, damn, don't let me talk about Miami right now because Kiki, you are so much better than me. Oh my God, Lisa deserved way more than that. Way more than that. I cannot stand Lisa this season. The way she's acting the show, girl, you're about to lose those cases with Lenny, girl. I'm going to need you to calm down. Get back to being that victim, please, for him. Because you're not doing so well with these ladies now. It's getting on my nerves. Okay. All right. Let's get, let's get off this Obama doll. And now when I say Obama doll, I mean abomination doll. Because, my God, I can't look at, I cannot look at this. I can't, oh, my God. Oh my God, I just can't look at this. I'm so sorry. I like Morphine's outfit. It reminds me of a little bit of a Jennifer Lopez moment, Versace tease. I thought that's what she was going for. I know she was like, I can't show them my BBL uh, because they said it was too much, but this is a branding challenge. So what are we talking about? And she still got to show ass. So like, what's, what's the vibe? Morphine looks better than the doll. That wig on that doll... <laughs> 
it looks like she just got beat up on a Zeus network program. And then this is the following episode when she put the wig back on and she's yelling about how she just whooped someone's ass. But the replay would tell us different. Mm -mm. It's like DJ Sky High with better makeup. And even that's a lot to give DJ Sky High. Anywho. Morphine, I like the I like the outfit on you. I, the doll, <laughs> the doll was kind of interesting. That wig is killing me. It's Kim Zolciak's wig. Oh, come on to the housewives. There, a season two Kim Zolciak wig. Yep. Lindsay's low hands daddy's wig. Yep. So you mean Ro? I just know Ken's that she's sour. I just know it. I just know it. I just I have a feeling that there is a sourness in the air around that one. I don't know why, but it's been giving that the past couple of like when I used to watch the show. Carrying that little donut around. Uh uh. I said something sour in the air. Ain't no way. I don't. I. <laughs> it's it's giving me not everywhere. God, her makeup is gorgeous. Yeah, I like how morphine looks. Morphine is giving for me personally in the outfit. It's it's nice. It's a nice look. To me, I just yeah, Zeus tried to get my channel uh shut down, Mandy. So I I tell them to fuck off. I got an email from them where they said my reviews were taking away viewers from their channel because I shared too much in my reviews of pictures. Pick one more, one more time. Pictures of the show and me breaking down the show like I'm doing right now with Dr I was taking away viewers. And so they sent me a copyright strike and they were trying to do all of my videos they did because she was literally, I, I I clocked her ass before she did what she was doing because this happened to a couple other YouTubers. They like mass strike, right? So I clocked her and I immediately privated all my videos and messaged her. And then she sent me some copy and pasted message about how I was taken away from, girl, what? And then I deleted all of the videos I've ever done of anything Zeus. I deleted every, I had over how many it was 200 something thousand views in Zeus videos alone. I removed from my channel. I don't want nothing to do with them. Because I'm doing what I do now. Wow Presents Plus. Thank you for seeing your boy MTV, HBO, actual networks that have given me time. They know what I'm doing here. This brings people to your platform, stupid. The fuck? Yeah, so fuck Zeus on a real note. And that bitch and, and whoever, yes. And that bitch that works in the copyright department. Fuck you. Because you, you are wrong. And you know you're wrong. The episodes are all on Facebook. Go on Facebook. Type in Baddie Z's. What, you, the, the whole entire episode is up. You coming to me? All right, girl. All right, girl. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about all... Mind you, don't let me get into their background work in Zeus because there's some rumors spreading around. Yeah. So let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet. Let me be quiet because I'm not the one talking about sleeping with your uh, people that you have as your castmates here. I'm not the one over here not getting the girls the money they're supposed to be giving. I'm not the one splitting $5,000 between 20 people. I'm not the one. Okay, <laughs> like I'm not doing this today. I'm not gonna do all of that. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And to be honest, when this happened was when I was able to point out there was an inconsistency in one of their videos where they're like, the baddies are going to one house. The baddies are gonna go to the second house. They showed the new house in the first episode and led everyone to believe they were in the nicest house. In the following episode, we're going to a new house. They changed the scale. They showed the house at night in the first episode, showed the house at, in the daytime, the second episode. 
So what house are they at? Boom. Then we get to see the other group. Why did this house look like some cheap shit? <gasps> it's another house they didn't even want to show because it was too bad. And that's why they were mad because I clocked them. That's when I got my strike, by the way. Hmm. Instead of, ta instead of taking my, you need to fix that and don't do that again, their asses went ahead of me. You want to watch some Ratchet TV, Mandy? Go to Now That's TV. <laughs> oh my goodness. Not me promoting Now That's TV. <laughs> listen, listen, to your point, I subscribe to Wild Presents because of your reviews of Drag Race Philippines. And that's the point of reviewers, of YouTube content creators, reaction channels, people on Twitter, TikTok. We're literally a part of the driving force of this show. Word of mouth. They're doing the work to get the show in our laps. We're now the people, myself included, who are here today. What are we doing, y'all? 457? We're just talking about the show. And we're having a conversation about it. That is the idea behind that. That's, that is why I thought what happened to me was so fucking crazy. I'm like, are you, bitch? I'm, I literally, at the end of every video, go for those of you who watched, subscribe to Zeus. It's a good time if you want this kind of TV. I wash my hands of that. So shout out to Wild Presents. Shout out to HBO. I appreciate when We're Here came out. Y'all remember. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Shutter. Shout out to everybody else. Hmm. <laughs> but them. <laughs> that was rude and it was trash. DW, I legit had Zeus Network account because. But I'm taking money away from them. Okay, girl. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Appreciate the super chat. Yeah. I'll... If you want to be a part of it, that's fine. But the, they, I will never. Yeah. So not R. I forgot to highlight this. Panda. Do, 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 We be bears. Uh, Tsunami made the same outfit she wore when all the girls met. I noticed that too. <laughs> mm-hmm. But no, Morphine looks really good. Love the mug, love the face. The doll looks like it's had better days. It's giving me Miami after the after hours. And she didn't make it home until the next day. 12 o'clock afternoon, took the bus. Trey wouldn't take you home. Fuck. I got to sit on this bus in this outfit. Whoo. It's going to be some new draws when you get to the back. Go ahead. I mean, it was cute. This also was funny, too. I see she's, she's trying to put some personality in there so the judges don't read her as only one thing. I see. I see it, Morph. I see it, Morph. <laughs> I see it. Let's wrap up this poll, if you don't mind. <sighs> 55% say she cute, 37% chopped it, and 6% are giving this look. I like it. It's fine. It's good. It's decent. Whoo we All right. Um, <laughs> all right, you know, I love you, Maya. You know, I, you know, I love your sister. You know, I do I love you down. Don't let nobody tell you different. If they, if they say I don't love you, they're lies and they're cheats. Okay. I have to keep it 100 with you. I don't know who this doll belongs to. I do not know who this dog, look, them eyebrows, what, what's, what, what, the, the hand placement. She looks stressed, Barbie. Like, is that a new doll? She looks stressed, Barbie. <laughs> With mood stabilizer and a pillow. Does not include razor blades. Like, uh-uh. The wig on the doll. 
Ooh! It, it it's it's giving you know family dollar no shade it is it's giving me that box has a dent in it good luck oh my god it's giving <laughs> jesus christ uh you know hey to be honest with you I'll be very real. I am going to chop this, but like as far as the outfit fitting, it fits and I'm I'm appreciative of that. The fabric can burn in hell. Burn 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 to the ground. I'm going to burn it to the ground. <laughs> I do not want to swallow this up. I don't know. Mm -mm. Swallow. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Look at how the doll looks like compared to Maya. <laughs> They're gonna have to put some money into custom dolls. That's not fair. Like you gave you gave her, you know, a Kardashian over here looking like before. <laughs> it's giving Chloe after tan and pre body. Okay. <laughs> oh. She was in the middle of her, you know, BLM era, okay? Like, it's getting close there before she met Tristan, right? You know, she just got the, she got the brown skin girl on. She just forgot the body. She just needs to get there. No, thank you. I don't want any of this. It's what, whoa, Vicky sees herself as. I don't want this. That the Lexi, I'm giving this time because I agree that you should have patted the doll, irked me. Just give them a curvy doll. Mind you, Jane patted her doll, but it was already built to her Russian pleasure. So, like, what are we talking about today? I get it what they want them to do, but I'm also thinking to myself, you knew these people were coming here. You know, you can call somebody in Los Angeles that would have easily made these things for a cute price and they would have got paid and their dolls would have been exposed and they would have been at DragCon with their vendor. Oh my goodness. Look at me making business deals. Remember the dolls you saw in Drag Race? This is the vendor at DragCon. Do you want a customized doll? Who needs Shark Tank? Hello, 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 hello. They say think big picture. I'm still sitting in this apartment. What's wrong with me? <laughs> and I'm still broke. Ah! <laughs> I'm just saying, like. <sighs> We've been using Q-tips all wrong anyways, right, Shadow? <laughs> the fact that we're not supposed to put Q-tips in our ears I, that's such a crazy concept to me, but since I've had uh, an impacted ear before multiple times, yeah, don't put Q-tips in your ears. Please stop doing that if you do that. Please don't. Please stop. Like, stop right now. <laughs> there is nothing worse than having an, in well, there's tooth pain, but there's nothing worse than having an impacted ear because, oh God, it's such a weird, weird, awful feeling. Weird, awful feeling. I want to buy that mish that gun that has the water that pumps out of it into your ear and like can flush it out. Cause you can go to a CVS like minute clinic and they'll do that for you, but it's gonna cost you some money. So I just want to buy it and just flush out my ears like that. I I don't trust the bulb. The bulb makes me nervous because I feel like it's gonna like come back. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't. I have tiny ears, so I need it. My ears are really small and my canal is small. So like I need it. And my old my older age, as they say, you get more wax in your ears. I'm like, oh. Not the one with the camera. It's another one I used to see a commercial for all the time. I just I don't I don't see the commercials like I used to. I don't know if they it got off the market because it was bad or something. Yeah, the Q-tips are bad for you, though. Yes, Jose, it's awful, but it's it's even more worse when you see what's in there and you're like, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> that, that was my first time that ever happened. I was, like, really asking questions like, okay, so how do I prevent this from happening? And, like, let's not do this again. And what's wrong with me? And... 
smoking was one of the reasons why I was told that there's a lot of wax in my ears. I'm like, well, that's not going to stop right now. So let's try something else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jarrell, I have seen those videos. I'm not even going to go into details about those. They're disgusting. But I also go, oh my God, how? How did that happen? That means your house ain't clean and them things got up in there. <laughs> Anywho, back to Maya, though. It is a chop. We, we started talking about dirty years, y'all. Maya, it fits. I think if it was... Ugh, I just don't like this fabric on her. I, I think she's fine. I, I like her mug. I like the hair. I think Maya's pretty. I just don't... Yeah, for me, it, it's just not it. I just can't do it. I, I want to like this so much. Also... Her breastplate, and I'm, it's not, I mean, get what you can afford and what you have. The breastplate is definitely a different color than her. It's like a, a gray chocolate. I don't even know how to describe it. Like, like, how is it shiny but ashy at the same time? Like, I don't understand that. However, you know, I was fine with it in certain occasions. It was when we got close-ups of it and there was like a keyhole. I thought I was watching that show Lock and Key on Netflix for one second, and that was how we get into her and see what her shit's about. Who saw that show, by the way? It was good. It was an interesting show. Mm-hmm. It was a very interesting show. I like my I just don't like the dough. I also secretly wanted her to be in the bottom so she could lip sync, so we could see her lip sync. Like, I want a good show. I wanted to get a good show. So I was like, if she's at the bottom, it's not going to be bad. And if Law is here, that means we're going to have good music. And T.S. Madison, too. Like, imagine if they put on something by Kim Petras with these two. Oh, no. Or Taylor Swift came on with those two people. Oh, no. Oh, no. There is not any, there is no cock on that panel. Michelle is a dick lady, okay? So we were going to get a lot. We were going to get something. Penis. We were going to get something. <laughs> That's why I was like, oh, if she's on the bottom, I'm not going to be mad, you know, so, hey, <laughs> but, oh, yeah. so yeah, mind you, Maya, you do have a W, though, you still got a W, your track record's doing a little, it's interesting, but you got a W, uh, Maya Iman Page, La Page, excuse me, why I keep skipping the La Page, my bad sister, 82% of y'all chopped it, 15% said she cute, and 1% of y'all gave it something, again, I love the queen. She's a quiet soul. Go ahead, spirit. Like, see, this is a pretty shot of her right here. This is pretty. Go ahead. I feel like some music is playing, but because of how it looks like a star shot, it's going to be surprise, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Like, I love how Maya's like, I'm not shy. Girl, did you hear? Did you hear your take on your doll? Quirky things are she plucks her nose hairs. I love, 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 love. Anytime I see that, surprise, surprise. Any, anytime I see it, I fucking live. It's so <laughs> Please use that correctly. If you have that video and you want to use it for reply, use it correctly. Because when you see it done correctly, it, it it makes it that much funnier. It just has to be done correctly. Don't just throw it out willy-nilly. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> surprise, surprise. The arms come out. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> so funny. Right, it was everything contradicted itself a little bit in this, and I just was like, okay, it even sound low. I was like, ooh, turn up her volume a tad bit, but yeah, I I like I like her. I just mm -mm. Magami, dare I say you were robbed this week? Am I prepared to make that statement? I would. I don't. I I, I wanted to, you, Jane. I. I would have been okay if Megami sat in your position. I think you were up there as a visual representation of what should have been done with fabric. In my mind, I think this was a conversation that needed to be had. 
Surprise, surprise. See, now it's in my head. Fuck. Fuck. Also, uh, while y'all are in this chat today, can someone give me a good movie suggestion for the night? Thank you. And I don't have Netflix anymore. <laughs> so don't ask me Netflix. I'm not gonna, I'm not paying $27 a month for Netflix. I, I, I just can't do it. I, I would also say in the same breath, if you want to share your Netflix account with me, please. <laughs> but uh yeah, I I need a movie for tonight too. Cause if I'm gonna eat, I need to sit down and like actually watch something. I've seen Bottoms. It's a great movie. It's one of the funniest movies of 2023. Yeah. But I, I recommend Bottoms to people. It was it was great. Very good movie. Very good movie. Um, sorry, y'all. I was looking at a different screen. It was messing me over. I like this outfit. I'm I'm keeping giving for this. I'm gonna say giving. Uh Soulful Dog, I want to enjoy the movie. I'm marveled out. I I'm waiting for X-Men. And Deadpool. I'm so serious. I have no interest in Madam Web. I have no interest in anything Marvel until I get to X-Men. When we get there, cool. And how the X-Men um, 90s, whatever remake show they're making, I don't like how that looks. So I'm waiting for the physical copies. Okay. <laughs> like the doll is cute. Look at the makeup for the doll. Look at the hair. Look at the crown. Everything like goes really together. I mean, yes, the cup is stupid. But also, it does make sense because she's getting it at a local bodega. So it's like, you got a cup of coffee, you got yourself a Megami's all. I want to say horror movie because I just like watching horror movies. I really do. I love horror. And I want thriller, but not like, oh, this is plausible. Like, no, give me some something spooky yuki. I want to be, I want to be, you know, what the fuck? Make me, I want to feel uncomfortable. Yes, there we go. <laughs> I like art house films and I like uncomfortable shit. I've seen When Evil Lurks. It's so good. When Evil Lurks was crazy, Aja Minor. It was crazy. That lady was eating, like, I, I don't want to say it, but like, that was disturbing. I was like, okay, this is a little much. <laughs> it's a little much. <laughs> The doll is cute. Her outfit's cute. It feels like she used one bolt of fabric for this, which I think is also fabulous. She didn't have to change it up. I've seen both Terrifiers 1 and 2, and I saw the prequel as well. I've seen X and Pearl. I'm very excited for the new movie that's coming out. Ooh, the trailer for Long Legs. And um, what's the other one? Uh, come on, Matt. It's Long Legs. And the cuckoo or a cuckoo. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited for that. I do like the Suspiria. Uh, the new one was good. Me and Blake talk about that one. We're fans of Suspiria. Maxine's going to be good. I'm excited. Pearl was amazing. Um, Lisa Frankenstein was cute. You liked it? Interesting. If you liked weirdness in Jennifer's body. Well, I don't like the actress in Jennifer's body, but I do like Jennifer's body. I thought it was a good movie. I just don't take uh, Megan Fox seriously as an actress. I refuse to. Megami, I'm giving this. I thought it was great. The color story was good. I thought it was fabulous. Personally, I, I, I liked it. I liked it. I When I saw the monarch butterfly, I was like, wait, don't they have like a migration pattern where they go towards New York? Cause they come to Texas. We see them at a certain time of year, but they also go to Mexico. I was like, I was like, wait, is that a part of this story too? Which I think is kind of hot, but it, it does match. That's why I like this. I liked it. I like this. I love it. It is. I'm, yeah, if y'all are Megan Fox fans, I'm not trying to be nasty. I just don't find her entertaining as an actress or believable in anything outside of staring at you and looking like, you know what? You know, I just can't do it. And then her and Transformers, I will never let go. Canada, Mexico. Okay, Sean, I was close. I was right. I had to do a project on Monarch Butterflies when I was a kid. So I was like, wait, I feel like I know this. I'm not. I'm also not going to trust anybody that carries a vial of blood around their neck. I'm, I, I'm, like, imagine she's in a plane and the pressure's too high, and all of a sudden it burst. 
I don't know why I'm thinking of that, but like that's the stuff that keeps me up at night. <laughs> I think Mugabe looks gorgeous and it needs, I wish she had got some critiques that I hope she felt that she was giving in this moment. 50% of you said giving, 41% say she cute, uh, 7% chopped it. Oh, reading subtitles, baby, baby, baby. Hi, you, you may be new here. Hey, hello. I love reading subtitles. I am the guy who watches anime and I'm not trying to hear the dub. You're crazy. I would never, I would never, that ruins the anime. Like no shade to the dub actors because they need the work, but like, I want to hear the original voices. Oh, I want to hear all of that tone in, in context with people in emoting when you're watching a show. I will be, no baby, uh-uh. And I feel the same way with horror movies too. I'm not, I don't like the dubs. It's, it's weird. Like, the, it never matches the mouth, ever. And it's always someone who doesn't go there. Eric, remember when they thought she was Angel? Girl. <laughs> I do. That always happens, though, in Hollywood. It, it takes, it's always that new actress, and then everyone starts comparing them. Oh, she's the new this. Oh, she's the, honey, let that baby carve their own path in the industry. No one's going to be Angelina Jolie. Let us remind ourselves that Angelina Jolie was with her cousin at one point in time. Ain't nobody going to be her. Mm-mm. Currently, I'm watching Solo Leveling. I'm on episode, I think there's only five episodes out now. I'm caught up currently. I, I don't like how they're, ugh, sometimes they just, they drag on animes too much. And I feel like they're doing that with Solo Leveling a little bit. But I do like where it's going right now. I'm very entertained with it. Very, very entertained. And I'm caught up fully with uh, Demon Demon Hunter, not or, Demon Slayer, right? Yeah, Demon Slayer. Yeah, I'm, I'm all caught up with that. Ooh, Nesco had me. I was about to be sick. No, I'm, I feel so much better. She's my favorite. My hero's coming back. Good. I miss my hero. Big fan. I have, and I'm caught up. I told you I needed to remember when I got, I was like not feeling well and I wanted to just take a couple of days off. I watched a lot of anime. I'm caught up on most shows. <laughs> Season two was, I was not prepared because I didn't think that was going to happen to old boy. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And, it, it, and then when they took out my, oh my God, I can't believe they killed my girl. I was not happy. Oh, I cried. I was like, no! no, screaming. I screamed. No, now Studio Ghibli, I will say, has good dubs, though. Studio Ghibli has good dubs. That is one of the few occasions where I'm like, yes, that's the way to go. Oh, God, some really good voice acting. I still can't believe Christian Bale is how. I still can't believe that. It's insanity. Maddie, please watch Miraculous Ladybug. Is If it's not action... Or gory. I don't want to watch an anime. If it's some comedy anime, if it's some cutesy shit, it's not for me, y'all. I want the dark and disturb. I want the action. I want the man, that man's chest is big. I want that. Oh, she is giving. You better go on there. So I, I want that energy. <laughs> I can't take the comedies and the cute shit. I'm like, oh, girl, that's no. <laughs> I want to see someone like lose like their life today in this anime. I'm just saying, but I'm, I'm just saying. Except not on Attack on Titan level, because I can't watch Attack on Titan. It pisses me off. The moment I get invested in somebody, dead. The moment someone makes this really cool arc, dead. Oh my God, so the, dead. We love her, dead. I can't, uh, y'all, I know you're enjoying Attack on Titan. I I've been watching the finale on Adult Swim or whatever, which is really cool. I'm like, okay, this is kind of, the ending is cool. But <sighs> that first season did too much trauma to me, too much damage. I can't go back. Can't go back. <laughs> Everybody I like died. I hated it so much. In their eyes too. They're just, everybody's so big. Oh, cha I, I have seen Chainsaw Man. I am caught up with that. Chainsaw Man's kind of disturbing. It's it's also a little gross. Howl's Moving Castle is my favorite. 
I love how Sophie's story pulls together and then Calcifer. Oh, I love the whole bit. It's just such a beautiful movie. Such a beautiful movie. Oh, I loved it. It's like a love story. So sweet. Uh, but yes, we start talking about anime, y'all. We're talking about Drag Race. This is why they leave me negative comments. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, but listen, uh, yeah, Chainsaw Man's perverted. It's It was cool, but I was like, what? <laughs> so weird. Okay. Did we, we wrap that poll up? Okay, let's get to Geneva. Shut up and drive, drive, drive your car into a ditch. Let's see here. I really should only give you three options or two, I should say. The doll is a fool, um, but it's still better than what Geneva was giving. I, I, the daintiest doll, Texas edition. Yeah, the, the doll's face is fine. Everything it's wearing, no, but the doll's face is fine. Oh, Geneva. I know you had to pull this out your ass at the last minute, so I feel bad for you. Those heels are so... I'm assuming you can walk on water. There has to be enough distribution between the shoe and, and what possibly gives like three lower decks of this boat. That heel is big, bitch. I'm sorry. It's a lot of shoe. It's a lot. It's white, so it's like, pow! <laughs> Oh man, it's 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 a lot. I know her mug is always right. The face is always beat. It's always done upstairs. Woo! Mm -mm. I'd wear those heels to learn how to walk in heels. I'd wear those heels if I was going to be going to a concert. And I said, I'm going to wear a shoe that is not going to leave my body. Mm -hmm. And I got nosebleeds, so I got to go up some steps. I, it's a supportive shoe. Sheila, uh, represent, come on, Brownsville, Texas. What's up? I've actually been to Brownsville before. What's up, Sheila? I love Geneva's cause. She's repping for uh, my hometown. I felt bad for her. Um, I think starting over didn't help, but I love it. I I think personally she should not have started over. I think that she should have kept the red and just didn't do the overlay and then went in a completely different direction. I don't think that Geneva knows how to sew a lot, though. So I think that also played a factor into the creativity behind the outfit. IMO. But. Yeah. Like, it's like. Uh, like. Uh, you should have stayed with where you were and then just added something else to it. Red was already going with the base of your beat. Like, you beat like you got swallowed up by some red foundation. Like. Swallowed. It's it's just the blush is the blush is bushing, you know. I don't know why she didn't do that, and I didn't know who this doll was to begin with. I uh, I thought this was Anna Mac. I thought this was who Scotty got her ass whooped by. You know, Scotty got her ass beat. <laughs> oh my goodness, swallowed. Gary, I see you in my chat. I hope you saw my message today. Brother, brother, sister, honey, they, them, child. I don't know how you go. Gary, hold on. Fuqua. Don't you post that shit again, friend. You better than that. You strong, bitch. Don't you do that shit ever. Girl had me almost, had, I almost DM'd you asking for a phone number. Like, do you need to talk to me? 
have me angry for you today. I don't like seeing my friends like that. I don't like seeing people I care for. Mm -mm, what's wrong? You better put that head up, bitch. You, 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 you are worthy. Hmm. Okay, these girls. Mm -mm. That goes for all of you. <laughs> if I see you online and you say some shit like I saw Gary, uh-uh. Check on your people. Remind folks, what's up? <laughs> put your... Put something on the table. Shoot, okay? I don't know who made you feel some kind of way. Fuck them. You hear me, Gare? Had me hot today. I was like, girl, I don't know. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Uncle Maddie started to step in. <laughs> That's where I'm like, okay. I have to get up today. Because <laughs> my nieces and nephews know I don't play. <laughs> so... <laughs> Get you there. No, Gary just was feeling down, Chi Chi. Uh, she, she, excuse me. And that's why I was like, bitch, fuck all that. Like, mm -mm, mm -mm. just was feeling down today. You know, sometimes we want to just, just let it out. And I felt Gary was doing that today. And sometimes I do that too. We as people do that. You know, we just have to say, I'm not feeling good today versus holding it in. So it's also an opening, uh, a way I like to say is a gate to open love and to let people remind you of who you are whenever you do that sometimes. But yeah, I don't know what's going on upstairs, girl, but pull it together because I'm rooting for you, bitch. 88% of you chopped this because you had, yeah, 9% said it's cute and 1% gave it out of, out of love. Gave it out of love. Gave it out of love. Yeah, Rue was over it. Uh, Dawn is next. <laughs> Rue was over it. Like, when Rue smiles like that, it's not going to be a good day. Uh, let's get to Dawn, honey. Almost three hours in this piece. A lot of you said you love these live chats. Those are the comments that I'm listening to. I appreciate you for tuning in today. Hit that like button, share, and subscribe. We're coming for this very bad family. No, these are long lives, not short lives at all. And there will be timestamps. If you see Enrika in the chat, shout out to Enrika. Hey, boo. I see you, baby. As well, I see you, Crystal. Shout out to all my moderators in the chat right now. But uh, Enrika does the timestamp. So there will be a uh, pinned comment once they are done and once they get through, they give them some time now uh, to get you to where you want to go in case you need to drive very fast to your destination. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Become part of this Rant Pack family. We've had almost 500 people in here at one point in time. I do appreciate you for tuning in. If you want to drop a tip in my jar for everybody hosting today, telling you stories, getting into drag race, having a good Saturday, which or whatever day it is. PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo is downstairs. Bye, my dinner. All right. I got a refund from DoorDash. What happened? Why did I get a refund? Huh? What? Hold on a second. I just, hold on. I just want to know what that $4.99 was real quick. Because I'm... Did y'all give me back something? Orders? I haven't used this until yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Weird. Oh, 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 okay. Okay. So, no, what they did was they overcharged me for the Dash Pass. Because you know how Uber Eats has its pass and DoorDash has too? Boom. So, the $4.99 was for the previous um, 
I guess that's how much I was paying. I think I had like a thing going on. And so they double charged me for $9.99 and $4.99. And they gave me back the $4.99, but the $9.99 is still there. I was like, oh, that was extremely confusing. <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> that, that was a little crazy. Back to Don here. Sorry, Don. I wanted to make sure somebody wasn't fucking with me. <laughs> so I enjoyed this. I found it to be very interesting. I kind of hate that this is a branding challenge and like we didn't have the ears. I don't know if that's specifically Dawn's brand, but she said like Woodland Elf and all the, you know, things in that nature. I, I kind of still see this as a part of it being her brand. This also is very fashion referential. I love how Law clocked it on that because I have seen this on runways before or something very similar to it. The face on the doll, bing, bing. Bing, 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 bing. I'm like, I'm here for it. A feminine Buzz Lightyear. Mm. Whoever said Buzz Lightyear. Jadavia, Buzz Lightyear tease? Yes. <laughs> um, I like it. It's, it, oh God, I'm sorry. Her face? Oh, and see, she did something different with the eyes. A lot of y'all were talking about her giving a little, you know, raccoon uh previously no these the the eye may oh my god the eye makeup it's fabulous she pulled in the under parts and the in the lashes are oh. oh oh the lashes i feel like when she blinks it goes like when Darla Dimple uh had her lashes on and cats don't dance and she was like please it was like <laughs> oh it's gorgeous i think her face her face is like just giving so much the muggy wug of it all i do like it i have to give this i enjoyed it personally i thought it was very interesting it felt very donny for me and i like how she sold it with her story too i do like this gorgeous we all love dawn soap we do we do Oh my goodness. We got one more queen left and then we're going to get into the uh, last act of this review, everybody. Thanks for tuning in and thanks for being here today. Next up is Q, Fantasy Edition doll. Q. Let me go ahead and get that uh, poll going here. It's like I didn't want to say one of my favorite words. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I finally got Brian to start saying cocaine in a special way. He used to say cute kid. <laughs> Lulu, I just need to talk to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, American dad. Lulu. <laughs> Lulu. I'm not mad. I just want to talk to you. <laughs> Her picking the darker earth tones and neutral colors was one of the smartest decisions she could have made. A very smart decision. Very. Nobody else was picking up these looks. These, this, these fabric, excuse me, specifically. Very smart. Now, would I prefer the gown? Yes. Is it tailored down to the root, to the two, to two, two, two? Yes. The headpiece is one of the best selling points about this outfit, too. The headpiece I receive. Ooh, a migraine is just hitting me, y'all. I do receive this headpiece. It's giving. Oh, it's all right here. Ooh. I did. I liked it. I thought it was well polished. It was well done. We even had glitter. Uh. 
to be honest with you, Milad, I'm going to get to you. Uh, Michael, uh, Q knew the importance of standing out today. She showed them her weakness last week. So she has to really do the thing where she shines exactly because she's not the only designer in the room. So it's not like a clear victory, right? Um, Matt, imagine if they gave Dawn the win to keep messing with Q. I was thinking they were going to do that when they said Dawn's name first. And then you see Q look at Dawn like, and I was like, oh, baby, if they do that, ha ha, but also fucked up. <laughs> I'd have been like, yeah, but also no. <laughs> okay, my migraine is starting to relieve itself. I feel it retreating, but it was all right here on this side of my head. Oof. Andrew, thank you for Super Chat. Love you, Maddie. Those lashes are definitely like the beauty queen, Lisa. Ah! Yes, that's the reference. Thank you, Andrew. Not Darla Dimple, but Lisa Beauty Pageant Season 4. Which one will she be? Who could she be? Right, yes, because it was Krusty the Clown was the host of the show. Yes, thank you, Andrew. Thank you. And it her, was her name Darla something? Because remember, she was the one to be. And they're like, ooh, get into her lashes. And she's like, world peace. Yes, yes, that's the one. That's the one. And Lisa did Proud Mary, working two jobs in the city, working for the man every night and day. Ah! I remember it. And that's uh, Lisa was the Coco Montrese <laughs> because the girl got struck by lightning. So Lisa had to take over. Then she was trying to be too good and they, were, they had to get rid of her. Oh, was, oh, God. Damn you. You got me down the Simpsons rabbit hole. Damn you. <laughs> Andrew, do you see what you do? You cannot reference cartoons or shows with me you're gonna take me down the road and i'm just gonna i'm gonna go <laughs> amber dipsy yes! why did every other child that was there with lisa talk like an adult but lisa sounded like a young girl but all the other kids were like you know amber dipsy yeah she's won this pageant 15 times <laughs> she's always with the circuit get into that shake <laughs> <laughs> stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Get back to Q. Back to Q. Headpiece, mug, presentation, the doll looking the same. Everything was right there. She put unconventional materials into this. We have the like almost what looks like wings or sort of like a deconstructed bow that's in the back with another bow. It looks very interesting. It looks really cool. And those tones worked very well in the lighting up there because when it was hitting, it almost gave red details and gold and, and rich chocolate. It was very interesting. So I was like, you know what, Q? Yeah. They try it. They they listen, you can't Q can't dance, but Q can sew and they have taste. Some people that can dance need to have taste Ooh. and need to learn how to sew. Ooh. Just saying. That's why I'm like, okay, we can we can say that little baby can't move for nothing. Ain't shit. But you know what we can say? Get her in front of a sewing machine and, and give her a, a task. She's going to eat them bitches up. Okay. 90% are giving, 6% say she's cute, and 2% have chopped this ensemble. Your decision. Now, we've already talked about a lot of this as we go through these episodes. That's why these videos are so long, because we talk about the entire episode while walking through the episode at the same time, because so many things happen in the episode that are then referential to things that happen later in the episode. Same thing for later into earlier in the episode. You get where I'm going with this. Words. They ask about the immunity potion and Safira takes it and then sees everyone make a face like, why? And she realizes, I might have jumped the gun here. And you did. Overthinking, a Libra, one of our worst traits. <laughs> or just maybe that's just how Safira is. I'm also a person that can sometimes get in my head a little bit and say, let me take the safe route and regret later not taking the other one because I would have done so well. But we have six people on the Z stage with it being sort of like, how do I word this? Three highs with one being mid-high, three lows with one being high-low. Mm -hmm. Plasma's high-low and Jane is 
mid-high. Yep, where she needs to be talked to, but she's not winning today. And she's low-key being used as a, a prime example of you, what y'all should have done or what this could have been or why didn't you change the fabrics, right? Plasma got, the, you know, they said she's her makeup's getting better, but the look itself was like, ah, girl, it was getting annoying. Jane was given excellent critiques even. They were bouncing off of that. Maya, I, Maya, I'll be real with you. They were very nice to you today. Very nice to you. And Law was kind as a kid. I thought Law was going to go the fuck in, but he said, I'm not going to do my sister like that. <laughs> he kept talking about the sweat between your titty. And I'm like, is he looking underneath the breastplate? Because when we got close-up shots, you could see it lifted up. It was, it was up there. You know, and I could see the real skin underneath with the sweat. I'm like, I know she hot. <laughs> I said, come on now. I said, he said, I'm not going to do my Miami girl like that. I'm not. I'm, I just can't do it today. Geneva, on the other hand, is a lot different story. Law dragged her ass. And it wasn't, it, it still wasn't malicious in any way, in my opinion. It still wasn't evil at all. To, to the point that some people were trying to make about it. I'm like, stay away from ballroom. Stay away from th this culture, if that is what you were saying, because you cannot be in the back room or in the dressing room for conversations with drag queens. If someone saying Danny DeVito legs is a supreme insult to you, I would find that more insulting as Danny DeVito that you think that Danny DeVito legs is actually that big of a drag to me. That man is a paid actor, a stump, but a paid actor, okay? Frank from Always Sunny in Philadelphia is doing just fine. Ask a Jimmy John, or was it a Jersey Mike's commercial? Ask him. He is doing just fine. Girl, please. I was like, that wasn't even a real read and probably didn't even give Plain Jane the same energy when she called Geneva a pig. That part. Hmm. He was very nice today. And even that read was just a cute little cack. And she laughed at it. Let's stop doing this today. They didn't watch Legendary. It's too colorful, Sheila. Matthew, I know. I got it. But they don't see color. That's what they tell us. That's what they tell us. Disclaimer. <laughs> I'm just saying. Plasma got, um, yeah, we were talking about Plasma, my bad. Uh, excuse me, let me get in here. Dawn got good critiques and they could see the Dawn factor of it all. And of course, Q got great critiques as well. Uh, it was very much between Dawn and Q this week, all T. Bizarro, um, I don't disagree with that. At the beginning of this, some of y'all may be late in the live here today and you may be seeing this later. For those of you, for the playback, you'll catch in the beginning. They need to do a shakeup, not with Rue right now. I need different people around her. Tia Smasson's the perfect person right now to be sitting next to Rue consistently each and every week. I also think a Black trans woman on the panel makes a lot of sense for a show like Drag Race. Now you have someone who is a stylist, but is current. One more time. A stylist who is current. Current, not someone from yonder and no shade to the yonder years. They always should be given respect. But when you are there almost every other day and it starts to sound like a bottom read every time we ask your opinions on clothes and that list somehow finds its way back to tell us that you got pounded some sort of time ago. Why what? I don't know, Black. It's getting tired. And then Ross, as much as I like Ross, I don't know if I can take that face anymore. Hum, hum. I don't, I just, it just, it's, it's not there for me anymore to care about where sometimes they now say things I care about. Other times they don't. You want to know who has more consistency right now because it's only been a few seasons? Graham and Allen. They haven't had that many seasons. There, there's still, what, five seasons? We've got UK versus the world. We've done that, but it's not as many as them. And so, I'm still used to them. I'm, I'm still on. Yeah, that makes more sense. It's been a little bit. We've had a little too much of it. I don't want to disrespect Ross or Carson. That's not why I'm saying this. I'm just saying 
I need a refresher. Those two today or this last yesterday when we watched this, oh my God, it was fun. Madison was being serious, but she also had jokes and she kept it cute. And she also was kind in her opinion. Same thing with law, even with the Danny DeVito legs. Like there was a balance of in between and it felt like Rue could receive that energy. Because sometimes when Rue talks, I don't know if they cut her out, but it feels like we heard a lot of Ross say something about drag and then Rue says, thank you. And then we move on. I'm like, "Uh uh-uh. Uh uh-uh, wait, 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 wait. What does the main person for this show think about what we just listened to Ross and Michelle talk about and a guest judge? But then Rue goes, just thank you. Don't cut that out no more. I want to hear the grand poobah's vision. I want to hear it. <laughs> so yeah, like that, that's why if I didn't hear Rue say it today, somehow Law's opinion felt very valid. It felt Like, okay, this person knows what they're talking about because of their field of work. And it's coming from a fresh opinion. Boom. Rue plays with the people around her. That may be the Scorpio. in That may be Rue's character with how she works with people. If she has the right folks to banter with, whoo. It's just a good time on that panel always. But it's it's just got to... It's got a balance. I think that Carson and Ross are great people. I think they've done a- amazing things for the show. I think they're a staple in the show too. I would like a little bit of a refresher. That's all I'm saying. That's it. I, I respect them. Q winning today makes perfect sense in my fantasy. I also think that it put a, it made her more human because top, 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 no wins. You're giving me second place Susan Lucci energy. You then had to, you know, be put in a position to almost go home. People said you should have gone. You stayed. You were given a challenge that was in your real house. And then you came back and you finally got that W. That's TV. That's TV. And it's good TV. Now, after that, also, I thought it was so cute how everybody was cheering for her in the background. I was like, yay, you know, like they're happy for Q. They also don't want her to be complaining the entire season because I don't want to be I'm going to feed you. I fed you earlier today. We actually had food today, Matthew. Do not do the grumblings of the tum-tum. I know it's been three hours and 19 minutes of me talking, but Jesus. Geneva Carr and Maya Iman LePage are in the bottom two. I can't help but tell you that I saw this coming a mile away, even with or without any spoilers. I always felt like these two were more than likely going to battle each other at some point in time. Notice how no one had made any commentary about how old the song was when this one came on. I wasn't born for Cher. You weren't born for Janet during this era either, baby. I was. Selective. Very interesting. I'm just saying, we know Janet and a lot of us do know Cher too. I'm not, listen, I, I, I'm just I'm just making a statement. A lot of the girls that were trying to make their whole, like, there's a younger audience and they need to really get, you, honey, it, there is timeless music that does exist. Sit down and listen. Learn from your elders. <laughs> I also think they can do some things to freshen it up too. But like, yes. And I'm and I'm literally born 86. So like, ah. <laughs> right, exactly. Um, uh, thank you for the super chat. Maddie, if Q's been de-jammed, then who's the new Jan? I think Jan is the Jan. I, I hated how that sounded, but I'm gonna say it again. Jan is Jan. Jan is the Jan. There is only one Jan. Jan, Jan, she's our man. Silky, let us know. There is only one Jan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we'll have any more of that. But I, you know, I feel like we're, there's going to be a couple of folks up in there that may feel like when am I going to get a win again? That may happen. Shout out to my '80s babies out there. I know. Uh, <laughs> 
they 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 really work our millennial nerves. I know y'all. I know. We're a great breed. Don't let nobody tell you different. We're excellent. Hey. A lot of these Gen A girls and stuff like that, you come off for us, bitch. <laughs> we paved that way for you to be doing. No, I'm just kidding. But like, not really. <laughs> oh, because like y'all are the Gen A arguing with a boomer. It's not, that's not a real conversation. Y'all shouldn't even be interacting with each other. There shouldn't even be interaction with each other. Like y'all are too below. They're too beyond. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> right, Gen see Gen X. I'm just saying. Thank, you, thank you, Gen X. By the way, y'all help, y'all help my my people out. I understand that some folks are Gen X, not all Gen Xers. <laughs> the fact that I grew up, I was able. I can. I'm able to tell y'all there was a whole Spice Girl moment with Generation X, Generation X, a generation. Who know who remembers that when the Spice Girls did that for the Pepsi commercial? Generation X, Generation X. Oh my God, I, that just brought that back up for me. I think I may have opened up a door for people that don't know that existed and you can go YouTube that moment. That's a real thing. It's a real thing. Generation X, Generation X, Generation. And you know which one was singing too. The only one, Mel C. <laughs> right, Nick? Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. I miss I miss TV. <laughs> no, I mean, we're talking about TV now, but I, I miss like that TV. When you would turn it on, it would make a... If you had it on too long, there'd be static on the TV screen. And it would be so hot in the back. The ones with the VHS and, and DVD combinations or just the VHS that's built into the TV, you were rich in those days. What? The yellow and the white cords are in the front? I don't have to have my PS1 in the back? Are you crazy, bitch? We were living. We were living. <laughs> Oh my God, when my dad got me that TV for my room, bitch, they never saw me again. Do you hear me? <laughs> I never I never had to share with my, I have, I'm one of 10 siblings. So having a TV in your room as a kid, one of 10, yeah, big deal for me. <laughs> big deal, baby. I was over here like, what's up? 15 inches, don't care. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Oh, see, those are the times I do this. Uh, but listen. Control by Janet Jackson, one of Janet Jackson's best songs, one of her best. And this is why I say we can reuse a lot of music from Janet Jackson and I will never blink. I will never go, Janet again? It's never not a vibe when a Janet Jackson song comes on. And y'all know I have had my stories about Miss Janet in a certain Harlem fest, all of that. But I love me some Janet Jackson, okay? Ah, da, 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 ah, 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 da, da, lose control. Ooh, baby, tell me how you like it. Yes! What y'all know about the strawberry bounce? La, 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 bounce, la, 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 la. I like to take it. You know I make it. You know I think you lose control. Ooh, yeah, baby, won't you? <laughs> Upbeat, bounce, bounce, the clap, clap. I like that. <laughs> I got the tease to bring it to your knees, baby. Ah! That needs to be a song. Lose control. Da, 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 bounce. <laughs> Sorry. Like, never, you can never call me a Janet hater. I have my critiques, but I am a fan through and through. I had her on tape. My first tape was Janet Dot and Michael Jackson's History. I had a tape cassette player, and those were my first music experience was Janet Jackson and Michael Jackson. And followed by Brian McKnight, Tony Braxton, Mary J. Blige. First rap experience was KRS-One. And I'm in Houston, and it was really Mike Jones, Paul Wall, Chameleon Air, when he used to claim Houston like that, uh, Slim Thug, uh, Swisher House Music, Fat Pat, Zero. That was my life, like how I grew up. And then, of course, the regular music. But it was very Houston-oriented music. And then, boom, whatever else was on the radio. Cause especially Sundays, because Sundays out here on 97.9 The Box is Swisher House like music and it's screwed and chopped. Some of y'all hoes call it reverb. It, that came from screwed and chopped. That's a Houston born and bred thing. Telling you that now. <laughs> Anywho, let's get the lip sync. Let's get the lip sync. My bad. <laughs> 
I rep for my city, trust me. <laughs> um, Geneva, when the, the whole beginning of the song and you were writing in your diary part, you lost. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth and you lost this lip sync. I love you down. You, girl, what is this? And, and, and I thought to myself, okay, so she don't know the song. She's, she, she knows the song. She don't know. Got it. All right, here we go. Let's go. Let's see this. And I knew it. This baby got up here. Hold on. Do I got to turn my camera around? Bitch. I'm over here like, what am I witnessing? This lady. What? What? Them donkey kicks don't go up at all. Sister, you be bucking the bait. That, that, that. Up. Up. <laughs> When that sucker to move. Every time I see her do that little kick out, I'm like, oh my God, it, it's just a little wilted. Same little do 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 bow, ba do 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 bow, bow. It was like, okay. So no, it was, it was, it was, oh, this part right here. In the beginning, after the diary, she goes, dupe. She walks over. This is her, this is her from one position to the other, y'all. This is her. I said, what's she going to do? She Well, she moved to that position and did a little two-step. She didn't even, I, I was concerned. I said, okay, she don't know what's going on. She is lost. Someone, Geneva fell. There's a concussion. I saw Maya taking them sleeves off in the middle of doing every word. I said, oh my God, it's about to be over for this baby. And then she's about to pull some stunts. And I guarantee you, every stunt that she does is going to be clean. And you know what it was? Did you see how her splits hit the ground? I didn't see a bounce. I didn't see a, a fallen stuffed animal from the bed to the floor. Squeak, squeak. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. It is La Roach, not the hair tie, bitch. Because he saw, oh, she's about to cut up. She about to cut up. Not you. This baby was cutting up. We had a back bend. Sister was given full control. Now, Rudy Huxtable, my Iman LePage. I need to, I am enamored with your physicality because you're a small lady, Okay. Okay, not the tall receptacle bin, but the bathroom receptacle. It's a little tiny, it's cute, You're a little small. I am very impressed by your physicality. As a former gymnast, baby, I'm impressed. Like, you got up from the ground without using your hands. Y'all better give that girl some respect. I know, oh, we're gonna applaud her for that. In heels, in drag, in a coin, yes! Yes! What? Are you know how hard that is without, with just nothing and you in shorts and just, your play? it's already hard to do it like that. Are you crazy? You're crazy. And self-taught. Call it. Look at, plea. Hmm. That's a line. Do you see how line it is? Mm. I said, okay, Maya. Came down on that ground and said, weep. I said, all right, sister. It was clean. It was clean. Everything was very clean about her stunt work. Even the dip. Mama's in ballroom, so I know she knows of the dip. I don't, we don't have to ask about the death drop thing. Mama's dips were fine, too. The One of them was a little bit louder than the other, so it wasn't as soft, but it still was like, boom, okay, got, 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 and there we go. It was cute. It was good. It was good work. It was good work. I'm looking at Geneva losing the convention. And then the, she was, I was like, what are we doing? 
unnecessary. You don't got the beat. You don't know the hands. Don't waste your time trying to find whatever you got to find. I think you have a different set of performance capabilities. You are not a bad dancer. You have different a skill set, a different skill set, a different skill set. I watched that car hit the curb, land on the light pole, and she had no insurance. This was scary. I was like, I'm watching you literally not be able to use your PIP. No bodily injury. Like, you don't have the enough for your copay. Like, I, I didn't see it for Geneva's car. It wasn't, it wasn't a sell. It gave me Aztec Pontiac. A Pontiac Aztec. Y'all remember that shit ass car? Looked like a greenhouse on wheels. Ooh. Everyone that I knew had that car. Um, I just was always like, what's going on? Do you not love you? You thought this was cute? It was cheap, wasn't it? Probably because they're never going to make it again. Horrible car. Oh, that ugly thing. Whoa, 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 a greenhouse. Because there was the Honda Element and then there was the Pontiac Aztec. It was like the Element you could drive. It was like, okay, I'm fine in the box. But whatever. Oof. Anywho, check this out. Hands are up like this. There is no, there's nothing on here. Mind you, my car is out of commission. And I still pay my car insurance. Okay, I haven't even driven this thing in three months, and I still pay my car insurance. Thank you, because um, we ain't lapping over here. Her push up from her elbows, give me, get, come on. She, I watched her rock her back to where her shoulders and elbows are the pushing force and positioning here. And as, again, as a former gymnast, I just love seeing shit like this. I'm like, ah. Oh! Please show them the technique, show them the form. It popped up. Them hands never touched the floor and immediately was back into position. I just, I, her physicality is a gag. It's a gag. What, what the fuck? I was watching Maya just eat it up, sweetie. I was like, what? The back hand spring into the split, clean, clean. It was clean. It was very non-noise making. It, it it did not leave an indenture in the ground. It was soft. It was like she would flip over and go, ooh. I'm like, oh, oh. It was good. I, I, I my, oh, when she started spinning with her sleeves and then landed into the dip, yes. Yes, queen. Yes, mother. The titty bop at the end when she was hitting the beats and she was like, ah. Oh. I was like, come out. Come out. Yeah, I have it on liability right now because the car just sits. <laughs> I'll put the um, the uh, other insurance back on once I get the car back on the road, road. But she's still, we still do basic over here. Yeah, yeah. This is a queen that knows their body, and that is not a bottom reference for douching. This is a queen that knows their body. And this is when they speak the most loud. Like, my, you are kind of quiet, baby, but I heard you very loud and clear. I'm hoping, Trey, to that point, that if we get her lip syncing again, it's maybe not the same routine. I can still do, I can see these stunts over and over again. I can. But I think Rudy Huxtable is going to be that girl when it comes to these type of situations. If we need someone to go home, Rudy got him. Rudy came out down the stairs like, baby! <laughs> baby! <laughs> oh. I'm just glad it was not a ballad. Isis, I, I, I'd love to tell you, I still think that Geneva's car was going to get repoed today. I still think so. I don't think they were going to keep her after. It's, it's just a lot. Well, Crystal, I'm not going to say what I have to say about that situation because that was a different sort of scale of people who they had to perform against. And in my opinion, Nira only had one person that was really matching her level, and that's Aurora. Ooh. So I'm not going to do that with near near is that girl she do she do eat in the lip singing department but let's talk about the scale of people who she had to go up against her threat was aurora boop 
<laughs> I'm just gonna be real. <sighs> you know what? Yeah, <laughs> it was Maya's through and through. Maya was saved and Geneva was eliminated and she gave a telenovela display of um, win. Now, Gary, I want you to put your cap down. <laughs> win. And you know, I love Melinda, but Melinda also gave like, this is why they have free health insurance in Canada. And they pay through their taxes like that directly. Do you hear me? It's giving, I got free clinic visits for like ever. Who got to pay a copay? It would have to depend on the song. If it's Melinda's time frame, I think she'll eat near it up. If it's around these headquarters of the current universe, uh-uh. Mm-mm. It has to be very beige music, Gary. Because you saw what happened when they gave them an urban song. You saw what her and Venus did. Ain't nobody knew what was going on. They were trying. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, they're just they're just throwing whatever they think is this is kind of hip hop. Cool. Venus, these hands. <laughs> Please don't do that no more, you tall thing. Thought I was watching um, you know, one of Billy Ray Cyrus's kids uh give a little, you know, ethnicity. <laughs> Bangers, I believe. Shout out to Miley Cyrus for getting her um, Grammy, finally. And Coco Jones. I said the Disney kids were egg. Go Coco Jones. Ooh, and Victoria Monet for sure. Absolutely Victoria Monet. Yes, baby girl. Deserve too. She reminded me of Beyonce when she won those Grammys that one time and had them all on, on her arms like this. I was like, oh, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah, Geneva left on a positive note. It wasn't, you know, like, oh, my God, they fucked me over, da, da 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 She's like, bitch, I did what I had to do. They didn't like it. It's whatever. You know what I mean? Like, Asta, what was it? Asta la Viste Slay? Something like that? I forget how the exit went. It was just really cute. And I did like that Geneva left on a good note. I don't think that if, if you sent Geneva hate this season, I think that's trash. I don't think that Geneva deserved anybody's hate anybody's anything star there we go asa la Vie star there there it is there it is there it is also star there you go because it's the star enough but yeah i thought she loved very well it was sweet it was nice and you know what i hope that she gets the love that she deserves i know if geneva ever thought to herself like would i do this again i'm gonna give her three things to do come in here and have fun one two take some more sewing classes get some more ideas for a different like styles that you could rock because it's not it doesn't seem like you can so horribly just some taste level stuff i was like we could switch up here mug is fine everything's good there um a few more dance classes because she was okay on a couple of the other i thought she was honestly it was an interesting run top two bottom bottom win what was that wait hold on now <laughs> Top two, wasn't there, in the, oh wait, top two, second episode, we're back third episode, bottom, bottom, the second, third, fourth, wait, second, third, fourth, and then fifth. Jesus Christ. So top two, bottom, bottom, one, home. Top two. Oh my God. Oh my God. I won. Home. It's like I've been sitting there with my suitcases, like. Wait, was that supposed to happen? <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That is cra crazy. She lip synced every episode she was on in some way, too. Isn't that crazy? Mm -mm -mm. 
insane. Not they, not they made Geneva work and then sent her home early. Geneva, can you come into work today and cover for Stacy's shift? Thank you. Oh, we didn't tell you that there's a backup in calls in the call center. Yeah. Yeah, Geneva, actually, we don't need you anymore. Oh, I know we were giving you overtime, but we have to ask you to go. Bye. Felt very that. They made her work. They were like, girl, come in, take over a shift. We know you can use the extra money. But she was like, I'm going to come in and do my eight hours. Fuck you, bitch. We don't need you that long. Actually, she's here today. Get out of here. <sighs> Did you get a lunch break? Geneva, for all that time you put in this season. <laughs> I can't. I still like Geneva, though. And shout out to uh, my Texas girls. No, Pesky. No, 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 no. See, Diggy and Dooley and Blake. Just say all three of them. Me and Jamar were the only one. I'm, I'm saying it today. Call me to arms tomorrow. I will be. I'll come stacked and loaded, strapped and all those things. This is almost a four hour long review. I hope that's okay. <laughs> We're going to wrap this up. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm talking too much. MS, thank you so much for the cash app to be poo. Tipping for all the, why is my phone going on? Thank you for all the laughs. Love you, Maddie. Love you too, MS. Thank you so very much. And I appreciate you, babes. Thank you. Glad I got to finally talk to you also via Instagram. Cause I was like, hit me up and we talked. So appreciate you, love. And yes, everything, I talked about my doctor stuff earlier. I got to be, watch my sugars again. We're getting back up there. Safira having little regret for picking that potion. I completely agree. Uh, but the it already happened. We can't take it back. So let's just live with what we got to live with. It's like, yep. I'm also Safira. Let me go to this lush bar while no one's here and see what they have so I can start taking stock for myself. I don't want no one knowing I like something so they might want to get it themselves. I want to pick this up. She's like, ooh, bath bombs. Very mom. Felt like she was at Sephora there for a second. <laughs> Conversations happen in between. We, of course, get to the back here. And I guess what I really wanted to talk about more so with uh, – Untucked was how law came back and it was a really personal moment. I understood, you know, not understood, but more so I relate. I guess it's relatable because I'm like law. Like I respect RuPaul, but I also love the show. And it was nice for him to give like critiques in the back for people who didn't get them, you know. But I was more interested in what's happening here. Bitch, Geneva said, I hope you crash and burn playing. That was funny. I had a nice little chuckle there. I was like, what? Imagine if it had been on a specific day when they had said that. That would have been out of line. But uh, it was Plain's response for me, though. <laughs> You're not going to be here to see it. <laughs> not Plain already knowing who's going on. <laughs> she was like, while you think you clocked me, girl, you won't even be here for that. So what's the tea? But Geneva, that was a that was your best read of the season. That was that that actually was her best read of the season. I hope you crash and burn. I was like, oh my god, <laughs> that's funny. I love how she goes from Geneva, and then Jade, like, play, please play Jade. You gotta, I I really gotta know. You like, you, you got up. And you went to Plasma almost to like check in on her face to make sure what you were about to say was going to actually be like legit. How do you feel about the judges giving you positive critiques about your makeup each and every week? And I love how you tried to flip that back on her when Plasma clocked in and was like, no, I know you're not. Sounds like a negative thing. That sounds like you're trying to read me. I didn't say all that. Sounds like your insecurities are coming out to which... Plasma said, and when I saw them hands close together, I said, this woman is about to gather you. She is dressed like their generation. Uh-huh. <laughs> she's dressed like a boomer and she's going to read you like one too. I'm, I'm over here like, Plasma, please gather her. When she said, bitch, you stood up. Your body language. Your body language was not giving positivity. So how am I? And I said, oh. It's like, here's me. 
Yes, I'm Jane because Plasma's been trying to play tag all fucking day, even though it is what it is and you used her fabric. But has she tried it? Go ahead and get her too. Bitch, your makeup, they have to tell you that it looks good each and every week. How does that make you feel? That's a cack. You may, you may say it's not. That is a cack. But it's her returning that serve and being like, you talk about me being insecure, but you had to get up and tell me something just to sit back down again. You know what you're doing. <laughs> And I'm happy they're telling me my makeup's good. I said, okay, plasma. And that is how you return. <laughs> I love how Law walked in in the middle of them going in on each other. And I was thinking to myself, Law, you probably sat back there and heard some of that. Why did you not go? So playing what you about to do, plasma, y'all fight. The girls are fighting. I wanted him to say, the girls are fighting. <laughs> Let him listen to the fight go on. Oh, it would have been cute. But yeah, Law, it was a good time backstage. I love the conversation he had with Safira. Even like, you know, uh, Tsunami wanted to get critiqued by him and she received it. Like, bitch, she's like, I would talk about the him over here as well as that safety pin sitting up top. But your doll sold it. You saw how he gave it to her, but then was like, this is where it was eating it up. Same thing for Morphine. He's like, I knew you were a Miami girl from the jump. I saw this bitch. I gave all that in, in with Safira. I'm kind of was like, why she was on promotion? Now he did say sushi, bitch. I, I, there are the girl. I know some of y'all don't like them, but I don't know if you feel the same way for sushi. But that's that was the phrase that was used instead of loaves of that Jesus gave to his followers. Aha. Uh -huh. So there you go. But yes, law. It was giving Remy straight. <laughs> it was good. It was good. It was good. But yeah, Untucked was light this week. It was a little bit of a little light shady energy um law came back there and it kind of broke it up a bit it's really cute sad to see um you know geneva go but also geneva had uh, a smile on her face and left a wig for tsunami i said tsunami you asking for that wig but you saw how nymphia was safe with amanda's wig if you wear this wig next week and then you're safe is that the curse don't ask for the wig as they're going home or wear it later. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but Geneva's a sister. I love they're all being very nice to each other, letting them borrow each other's wigs. I mean, bitch, send it back to me, though. I pay for this. I pay for this piece. Um, but yeah, yeah. It This week was a good episode. I liked it personally. Um, I'm always here for a design challenge. I'm here for anything like that. I, I, I'm here for it. Hold on a second, y'all. I love me a design challenge. I love that sort of spiel and deal and all that kind of jazz. And, you know, us getting to see the queens be creative. Is it raining? Oh, Lord. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. <laughs> Mina is stuck. I need to get her. Hold on. Thank you, sweet pea. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, y'all. She got herself caught on the toy. Hold on. I dropped something, too. Yeah, she got caught on the toy. There we go. She got caught on one of the toys I have hanging. Her nail. I could just see her looking at me, and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> my poor baby. I gotta take her to the vet soon um, to do another. I gotta get her rest of her shots as well as uh, trim her nails down and do a double check. I gotta do the same thing with Mamu too. Listen, it was a good episode. I liked it. I had a good time today. It was really fun. It was really fun. The cat didn't bark. <laughs> I can see my room is like right here. And so the string toy is like right there. And I could see 
like her doing this. <laughs> so that's why I was like, okay, she's in distress. So let's help her out. But yes, it was a great episode. Tell me what you thought of this week's episode in the comment section down below. Reminder, the algorithm, it so super matters when you go to the comment section and you leave your opinions on this week's episode. I want to see 100 comments if possible. That's my homework for my rant pack today. Please, 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 please make it happen. If you see that Tekken video in my live feed, go watch it. Let's get that to 1,000 views too. Uh, hit the like button as well on the way out the door. I appreciate all of the super chats today and the tippy poos that came in. I appreciate you down so much. Hold on a second. Questions. Hey, Ralph. Uh, Jose, Maddie, did you see Safira in Detroit and playing in Cleveland join Madonna and Bob on stage for Madonna's? Yes, I did. That's both are better. Both are better options than Amy Schumer. So yes, I did. I did. I thought that was very cool. Mm hmm. <laughs> I still don't know why that happened, but oh well. Anywho, I love y'all down. I'd appreciate the support. Um, I got to rest for the rest of my day. Uh, since there's no game night tonight, I'm going to order me some uh, veggies and some protein. No pizza for me. No doughy stuff. No bread. Health food. Health food, Matt. I got to get on my kick again. But yes, I appreciate all the support and all the love. Thank you all so much. I hope you had a good time. I hope you had a good time, <laughs> a good time today. Uh, make sure you leave with a smile if you aren't already. Give yourselves a hug from me. Take a deep breath if you're feeling stressed. Whatever you're going through, you will get through. I will see you tomorrow for the panel. Monday for UK versus the world. Tuesday for Tekken Tuesdays. And Wednesday for Espana All-Stars. Sunday panel. Monday UK versus the world. Tuesday Tekken. Wednesday Espana All-Stars. I'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Until next time. Listen.